is 8 p.m. on a cold, chilly and icy Saturday night in North London and we are reaching out across the globe to the global tea head community. Break out your wares, take out your stash, heat up that water and let's get tea drunk. <laughs> it is time for Mayleaf Sessions number 13. Hello, hello, hello everybody out there. How are you all doing? Let us know that you're hearing us loud and clear and that we're all coming at you live. And there's no issues. There's no issues, no, no, no issues. sound problems, no stuttering. Let's hope that everything is going to go perfect tonight for May Leave Sessions number 13. Celine is with me. Hello. How you all doing out there? Shout out your... Uh, name, your, where you're drinking and what you're drinking in the chat room and we will give some shout outs to you. So we've got Passenger from the Czech Republic, we've got Cam469, we've got Adam Svetlik, we've got Roses of Willows, we've got Anna Litwiller, we've got Kelvin Wu, we've got Anchnira, Laurie Bloom and many many more. Do you want to give some shout outs? I know you love Joseph to read. Troyer. Tinuki, ah, uh, you guys always here. That's cool. Good to see you all Thanks, in the house, wherever you are, wherever you are drinking. We've got 161 people currently joining us. Yay. Welcome to Mayleaf Sessions 13. Happy New Year, happy belated year. for 2019, and happy Chinese New Year to you, Xinyan Kuala or Gonghe Fa Choi, if you are of the Guangdong dialect. <laughs> happy New Year, Year of the Earth Pig. Earth Pig, yeah. Which is why we got the piggy. The piggy and the fish. In the house. Because you know, needs a companion. Yeah. So the pig and the fish, the two friends. Yeah. Are they? Unlikely yeah. friends. The, two, <laughs> yeah. the pig and the fish, but you never know. Right. So yes, uh, it's a Chinese New Year coming up, Earth Pig Year. For those of you who um, are in London or in the UK, we are having a big party at Mayleaf Tea House this coming Saturday. So in a week's time, at midday, if you want to come up, come along. Come along and say hi. We're going to have some speeches, some food, some drinks, some tea, all sorts of activities happening yeah. to celebrate the year of the pig. So, <laughs> what are you drinking out there? Ruben's drinking JS2, J Star 2, Night, mm. Night News, and Milan's Xiang Dan Song. I hope not at the same time. That'd be like a triple drop session. Uh, Ryan from <laughs> Colorado is about to drink a little bit of everything. Again, there seems to be a mix up going on mm. here. Uh, nice. Emily says hello from North Carolina. You're drinking hello. Laoshan Green, so from Verdant, which is up green from the Laoshan Mountains, further up north um, in China, and almost ready for the second steep. Oh. Joshua from California drinking a raw pua. Someone's drinking raw gushu, young gushu. How do you read so fast? Yeah, it's moving quite quickly. If you would like to. Um, Instagram any of your tea setup, please do make sure you hashtag Mayleaf Sessions, so all in one uh, mm -hmm. word, Mayleaf Sessions, and we'll go check them out. In fact, why don't we go and see what's see happening now. there. We'll <laughs> let you uh, take a little peek so you can see. Ooh, First of all, know. whoever did this, I'm, <laughs> I am much displeased. <laughs> <It's> so freaky. <laughs> that is a freaky uh, ass so image. Though. Anyway. Um, so we've got um, Creative. Jordan, yeah. Matthew Fletcher, um, enjoying some Young Gushu 2018. Oh, yeah. We've got Compact Disc 100 is uh, drinking a copycat of Jade Star. There can be no copycat of Jade Star. <laughs> uh, 1994 Dahong Pao, ooh, ooh. and last but not least, a 2012 Jingmai Shoupua. Nice. nice one. And we've got, and the tea head set up a, a while ago she's got lots of different teas to pick from there wow and one of yes. our mini guy ones so please do tag us please do put hashtag mayleaf sessions on your instagram we'll go check it every now and again so what's coming up in this show we're going to be doing some uh, news from mayleaf hq yes. then we're going to be doing a uh, white tea tasting an aged white tea tasting to see if we found any contender for Jade Star 4. Mm. We're going to be doing a chocolate pairing. I'm so excited with That's that. That's the one a I'm looking for. A chocolate pairing with tea. We've got some incredible <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. Incredible chocolate. I have to say a big thank you right. to Alain Ducasse Chocolatiers in London. They have provided the chocolate free of charge. And I know that Cheers. is some pricey 
chocolate. So <laughs> that's pretty, pretty uh, generous of them. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. After that, we're going to be doing a competition for you guys where you uh, are going to work as a team to answer questions to win prizes. And finally, Celine has got a challenge laid out for me to see if I can guess the different mountains of Raw Pua, which is a major challenge. That's not easy. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not almost easy. certainly going to cause some issues. But anyway, we're going to go for it anyway. Of course, there's going to be an opportunity for you to do questions and answers. So at any time, um, we're going to, sorry, during the session, we're going to stop and do Q&A. So please hold off your questions until the Q&A. We've got some questions that came in before. And we are going to be doing giveaways, of course. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's start with Mayleaf News. All yes, right. Mayleaf okay. News. That's so, the top the train, you can start to bring everything out there. Yeah. So, let's see what's been happening. Uh, so, first of all, New Year. If you remember the last Mayleaf sessions, we talked about the tea that was confiscated. And some of you guys out there wanted to start the hashtag free the tea, which was which is a good idea and may actually be necessary. We are currently in the appeals process. I am waiting. I've sent two letters off to them. They have replied. Um, they are putting it through appeal. So let's see what happens. There are some really amazing teas in that shipment and I would be devastated, plus some artwork from Celine, and I would be Man. devastated if we lost Daddy. those. But, you know, we, we can only do what we can do. So that would be a waste. Yeah. That's so, you know, I will let you know, but if you want to throw the hashtag free the tea in any of your posts, then um, certainly we can start to uh, <laughs> maybe see if there's enough momentum to, to throw that in as a, the people are watching your yeah. actions. Customs <laughs> people. <laughs> free the tea indeed. Uh, what else? Um, for those of you who don't know, last stock, B stock of gurus are now in stock. Oh, yeah. available so yeah. if you want to pick up a, a gong Fu guru this is the last opportunity i know I keep on banging on about it but i have had so many requests and i just want to make sure everyone gets the notice gurus mm. are in stock um if you missed which most of you would have the tea after dark event uh that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago yeah uh, it was great thank you to everybody who came yeah. i hope Shout that you enjoyed you. yourself we're fun. going to be trying to do more and we will be trying to stream them if possible so that you can join in virtually although yeah. that's another whole technical setup at mm. the tea house we shall see how we go with that what else ah i wanted to get your guys feedback on an idea. We get so many requests for um, teas that are, let's say, more affordable, uh -huh. um, which they know is not going to be exactly the same standard, but is still a good quality tea and is a really kind of a really good affordable price point. Um, and we were thinking of maybe releasing a very limited range of what we would call our daily drivers. Oh, yeah. Daily drivers, slightly more affordable, slightly lower quality, or you know, but still good for the price point. What do you guys think? I'm kind of toying with the idea. I think it's a good thing for, for, to, to, to offer that to people. But at the same time, you know, I want to be cautious of people not associating Mayleaf with tea that is not like pinnacle, pinnacle grade. Yeah. So let me know your opinions in the chat room. It would be nice to hear what your thoughts are because we're kind of struggling in our meeting rooms going, is it a good idea? Is it not a good idea? I would like to know your thoughts on it as the core tea head community of the Mayleaf uh, of the Mayleaf crew. Right, what else? Um, tea trips. Where would you like us to go on our tea trips? We're planning them right now. We've got already most locations in my head are locked down, but there's space for maybe one or two more. So, see what you think, you know? Let us know what kind of provinces, what kind of teas you would like videos made about. Let us know as well in the comments section below. Let's check some of these. Student light tea, yeah. <laughs> Student line tea is yeah. a so my place thinks it's a good idea. Rough That's Blade idea. says <laughs> it would be super profitable, but at the expense of your reputation. Yeah. You see, this is a this is the the issue that we might have. Um, yeah. Good for people who want to try tea. Um, look, we will probably scroll through your comments at the end, so keep them coming in. I can't look yeah. at them all now, but it would be interesting to know what you guys think about that. I agree. Um, and also, yeah, please let us know which provinces and which teas you would like us to cover in our tea trips. We can't cover them all. We've got ideas of places that we need to source, but. 50 different places. Yeah, all yeah. over the place, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Go to Taiwan, says Christina. Yep, that's probably going to happen this year. Yeah. Um, Anhui for some hei cha. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, Korean tea. Very good. Yeah. These were all on our radar, so we're, we're all kind of thinking about that. Uh, Tinuki wants us to go to Fujian. Yeah. Which tea, Tinuki, do you want us to... Fujian is a big province, so which tea would you like us to cover? Um, Vietnamese tea trip for lotus tea. Uh, Rinko, Rinko Smerta says... Moonlight White, so back to Yunnan. Mm -hmm. Always could go back to Yunnan. I'm, I'm always up for Yunnan. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Chikomirofi says, I'd keep the high standard. Thank you for your advice. <laughs> Good news is saying we should go for Tibetan yak butter tea. That's pretty extreme. Um, lol, Taiwan, Nepal, India, Taiwan rolled oolongs, fooding. Mm. Okay, so we get the idea. Lots of different places you can see. The, the, the beautiful thing about tea is that there will always be new places for us to yeah, visit. Yeah, true. Um, finally, true. Uh, let's do a few Q&A before we do this because I'm conscious of how many people ask questions. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And then we'll get straight on to brewing. Yeah? Perfect. So, um, Stefan Istalikov wrote, how much time do you give the different tea leaves to cool down before the next steeping? I guess what I'm asking is uh -huh. how fast can you go from one steep to the next? Um, so that's a good question. It is different, isn't it? If yeah. you leave the tea for like two or three minutes and yeah. you brew again, it's going to have a different taste yeah. to if you just hit it immediately. Yeah. And True. usually, bizarrely, it feels stronger. Yeah. But I think that it's not actually that bizarre because you're leaving it in a moist environment mm. and the water is sort of breaking into the leaf. So it's, it's sort of going to extract actually quicker than you hitting it immediately. Right. So, yes, there's a difference. I mean, I think that, you know, the um, test. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a video idea, but in my, in my opinion, you know, the whole joy of Gongfu brewing is to kind of slow it down and leave the leaves just for like a few minutes, just to yeah. sort of uh, cool down, but also for it to start priming itself for the next infusion and then you can hit it. But I guess if you're doing a Gongfu session and you're going to drink the tea, you can't really drink that fast. What do you mean? Like if you're going to have, uh, it's brewing after. Yeah, how long do you leave? Season. Yeah, after you've done it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know. But if you're serving four or five people, then oh, you can go straight out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One it more question. Uh, Eve Dust says she's trying, or he's trying, I shouldn't assume, trying to stop using honey in my tea. What is a naturally good sweet tea? Oh, uh, I find that menta oolong is quite sweet. So any floral tea would have floral that. Teas, oolong tea, like green oolong teas, I find you don't really need to add sugar or anything to it. Green oolongs can have that sweetness. Obviously, you've got that hui gun sweetness that comes from really good raw pu'er's. Mm. You've got that sort of theanine sweetness that develops after the savory mm. hit when you have those Japanese teas, but you've got to go through the savory first before you get to the sweet. Yeah. Um, In terms of tisans, the rooibos is like tastes like honey. Rooibos is very honey, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So amachizuru or jiaohulan is is licorice sweetness. Licorice sweetness, not um, too intense though. So there's quite so a few. There's quite a few. Let's see if there's any. Yeah questions out there. What do you think about Korean tea? I have been very much enjoying Korean tea yeah, recently um, and um, I'm interested. So yeah. we're, we're planning things for Korean tea, mm. but um, we need to make sure we find, we, we build the right contacts and get the right connections. That's the most important thing. Sure. Blue Red Redins, Red D-Y-N-S, says silver needle has a sweetness. That's true. Yeah. White teas do have sweetness. So do black teas as well. If there are more of that sort of buddy multi variety, they tend to be sweeter. Um, so true. those sort of um, white teas or sun-dried teas. Yeah, yeah. There's lots That's of, of teas that have teas. sweetness yeah. to them. White okay. Tea. Any other questions? Uh, Oriental Beauty or Second yeah. Flush Darjeeling? Is that just a question? Um, which one do we prefer? <clears throat> I prefer Oriental Beauty, but I do like Second Flush Darjeeling and I understand the similarity. Um, yeah. do, 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 do. I still prefer Eastern Beauty as well. Yeah. If Even you get though a good I one. get why people like, for, like Second Flush Darjeeling. Or and you've got to find a good, Darjeeling. you've got to find a good Eastern yeah. Beauty, which is always That's a challenge. True. All right, so enough questions. We're going to be doing some more Q&A later. Uh, um, after we do um, the tasting of this aged whites. So we've got two aged whites here. We have not tasted them yet. This is all blind, so we don't know if they're going to be good or bad. One of them looks uh, very different to the other. Shall I bring it up? We'll bring it to the, we'll, we'll do it later. But essentially what we're trying to do here is we are always on the search for Jade Star, the sequel. So Jade Star mm. 4, 
which as, as most of you know, is our sort of signature uh, show made by Mudan blend, aged tea. And it takes us so long to find these because we taste so many of these samples. Yeah. You've been with us on, 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 I think, on previous live sessions where we've been tasting uh, Jade Star contenders. We have not found anything yet, people. Um, so we are now going to hit these two. They look very, very different. I'm very, very excited. I know Lucy is still sort of uh, recovering. She's, <laughs> she's never quite recovered from her Jade Star. Jade, she's a bit of a wuss like that. She's, yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> you just got this. I hear my, my name in your mouth, mouth Don. <laughs> and not a positive This is the only way I can get you down here is to it's call you out, man. Are it's you going to hit the Jade Star? I need to protect my, my honor. <laughs> Are you going to hit the Jade Star? Here we go. I'm Lucy is in the house. I'm She's not scared. scared. She's not scared. <laughs> Are you back on the wagon? Are you I'm, back on the wagon? I'm back on the wagon. <laughs> You're back on, <laughs> back on, back on gently, gently. Gently. Back on the wagon. So, yes. Jade Star contenders in the house. Hello, Lucy. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I'm just uh, hyped for some Jade Star. It's <laughs> actually <laughs> something Jade I Star? really look forward to and don't run away from at all. I love how you're like, I, I know I, where I'm I go going for it. <laughs> okay, but. Be honest with everyone out there. Yeah. How long did you go without oh. touching any aged white tea and reacting in that way, which was like, if I mentioned white tea, you looked at me as if I was going to feed you some sort <laughs> horrible of things. horrible, horrible yeah. things. Um, when did Jade Star come out? One. The first Jade Star One, one yeah. came out 2016. Uh, 16. I can't remember. 2016, <laughs> I, remember. I think. Yeah, yeah. About three years. Three years. I didn't have it for And when did you years. go back to it? Um, <laughs> I was going through a challenging period in my life, and uh, Jade Star seemed to be the only tea I was drawn to. Crazy attracts crazy, right? <laughs> and uh, I actually really liked it. It was. When was this? It was this summer. Okay, so. It was so, this summer, so it so wasn't that long. Relatively okay. recent, in the last six months. Yeah, it was this summer, and I just kind of uh, thought, why not? I still have Jade Star 1 in my tea cupboard, and I thought, it's really disrespectful just leaving it. I'm like glad that. that you didn't try to sell it or give it away. Yeah, no. No, because... I uh, <laughs> totally got distracted then. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> you got distracted. <laughs> Don't do not look at the comments. Yeah, mid, mid no, 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 no. I won't do that. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I contemplated. I messed with the idea of selling it, but I, yes. I knew I couldn't get rid of it because yeah. it was actually, it was fun. You know, yeah. um, took it too far. When and, you meant uh, to share it with someone, and I feel like then it didn't happen or something. Oh yeah, I was supposed to like I gave some to Hugo. I, think. I, yeah. I gave some to Hugo. I was like, listen. I, I, can't some, right I can't now. have some of his a little bit for you. I actually had Jade Star 1 again at the, the Tea After Dark. Tea After Dark. Because Will, Will brought it in. Yeah. And, Will. Shout out to Will. Uh, shout out to Will. Thanks, and, uh, and it's been years since I tried it. It has... If Delicious. you've still got JS1, then Ruben, if you, that Just tea, when I it tasted longer, it, I was I like, I was so like heartbroken that we didn't keep some. <laughs> Yeah, so still I still got some. I still got a secret stash, and from time to time, special um, occasion. I can I can handle it now. I'm yeah. I'm I'm. Okay. I went. I walked through the fire. And I come up. <laughs> you the came rent. out the other side. Yeah. It, it, okay. You 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 passed the J Star trial. Uh, yes. Okay. I did. Like totally, yes. All right. So let's show <laughs> let's show these peeps the uh, tea. Um, Celine or Lucy, do you want to do the honors? Just then, bring it bring it up to them. So we guys? have hold it there. We've got a 2008, this is clearly Shomei, right? Yeah. 2008 Shomei, and this one is a 2012. 2013 Gongmei. 2013, Gong 2013 uh, with a bit of Baimudan in there, I think. Oh, wait. So, yeah, that's it, sorry. So, obviously, the one on, the, on this one here, the, the 2013, looks a lot greener and has a lot more bud material in it, looks a bit more sort of fine pickings. But that doesn't mean good taste. In fact, the lower leaves tend to mean a lot more sweetness, but then less strength and longevity. Mm. Whoops, is it still yeah, focused? Yeah, I don't think it's focused. There we go. Okay. Got it? So yeah, you can see the, the, the 2008 looks seriously <laughs> dark. <laughs> looks like sort of, I don't know, like just, just, just leaves, autumn, autumn leaves. leaves. Autumn yeah. leaves, yeah. But usually they will be very, very sweet. 
but then usually you need the extra like younger material just to give it intensity okay. and length. All right, let's do this. Ah, let's finally drink tea. I'm so thirsty. <clears throat> I'm thirsty. Yeah. And I've intentionally not drunk any tea the whole day. Yeah. So this is um this Get is the first palette. the first uh, first tea of the day at 20 past 8. <laughs> How are you all doing out there? Let us know what your thoughts are, what you're drinking. I'm going to quickly check. Yep, we got some more Instagram. Who's this? Oh, that's Aww. so cute. Is that a corgi? Oh, that's happy so cool. bear says getting hyped and ready all white all all the while Toby judges me in the background no judgment Aww. just admiration Toby's so cute. Joe's Maylie's young Gushu 2018 nice, nice. another nice setup. YG coming at ya cozy cool Coziness. all right here we go oh wait are we smelling we're smelling all go right. for it Smell, you smell. go so 2008 Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna actually go in, in order. Oh. No, I'm okay, in so, order. Okay, um, so, mm, very fermented smell to this. Mm. Um, nice. Do you not like this? I, I was no, smelling I just need this to come one. Back. I just needed like a... Yeah, I need, I need to just... Stir. Very, very, very fermented boozy raisins. Okay, There's something I much like prefer this one boozy smell raisins. than that one. Yeah. This just like hey. There is something that reminds me of you know when like you go into like um you have to develop your own photographs. Yeah. There's something about that like that dark chemical, room smell. Oh, dark room smell. The chemicals. Yeah, yeah I know what it you mean. Me it bit. slightly burns. Yeah. It slightly burns yeah. your nose. What chemical? The 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 chemicals they use for developing. Ah oh, yeah yeah. Prints. Okay. Back in the dark room days. <laughs> yeah, that just smells like a, a slightly more sort of. Acidic white peony and a bit sweaty. Ooh. You know what I mean? So that's a bit. Oh, yeah, know? it's all I can s smell now. Not, not a nice sweaty. This one smells nice. Smell. That kind of reminds me yeah, of those. Yeah, I like the smell of that one. But I know the problem's gonna be that it's gonna have give us like one infusion and then. It's gonna fade away. Well, let's fade not pre away. prejudge, but I might just. It smells a bit like those. Um... I might just crush it a bit because. <sighs> Give it more yeah. fruit, okay. fruit bars. Fruit bars, which fruit one? Fruit bars, like the flat. Oh yeah, you know, health ones. Health food bars, but the flat ones. The, the very skinny, skinny skin, like yeah. fruit pulp. Fruit pulp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's got a very fruity note to it. It actually smells really nice. <laughs> it's just, in my uh, experience, whenever you get one that is just those large leaves, you're gonna get some inf good infusions, but it's never gonna match the intensity that you need uh, or that you expect when you smell it, you know? Yeah. Let's see though. So we're gonna be, uh, what what temperature water are we doing? Uh, 93 it's at now, so... Okay, let's, uh, let's hit it at... All right, let's do 93, that's good. 93. Yeah, that's good. Do you wanna smell the wet leaves? Or yes, should I brew please, first? No, let's smell those wet leaves. Alrighty. We don't have much of this tea, so... Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Is it less sweaty now, this one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it gives me that Ooh. smell. Oh, it smells different. Yeah. Different. Okay, it's more. It's not gross, sweaty. No. Anymore. It's more like humid um, prairie. Uh, what is it? Field mm. with flowers in it, but like really humid mm. day. I still day. get a little bit of the a shed with some manure somewhere <laughs> in the background. In you the countryside, I mean? there are somewhere. some like cows in the background. There's, a, there's definitely. There's definitely a barn somewhere nearby. I that smells nice. Smell that. that smells nice. It smells weaker than it should, but but there's yeah. real vanilla like note coming through. Tobacco yeah. Vanilla, tobacco. Yeah, like fresh leaf mm. tobacco. There's a, oh, a bit of nice. definitely raisins or like or like something that yeah, like a dark Ras like a dark Ras yeah. raspberry ripple ice cream. You know that vanilla and and strong raspberry smell I get. I think it's deeper than raspberry. All right. Plum ripple. Yeah. Oh, plum ripple. Someone should do that. Yeah. That'd be delicious. We did. We, we did, did an emperor. Shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give away all our recipes. Sorry. That's going to be a video. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> all right. Let's brew these up. All right. Let's brew these up. I'm excited. I'm excited, especially by that one. All right. I'll so do that we, one should we? Should we what, drink one at a time? 
I always like go for the worst one first, just so um, I can enjoy mm. something nice. And that's a very, that's a very, that's what kids always do. Isn't <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I am like that. I'm a pleasure. Like, so I'm when pleasure you got your plate of food and you had like one bit that you didn't like, or you didn't like, I'd have would, it you, first. would you eat it first? I just get it over and done with. See, first. I think there are people in this world that do that. And there are people in this world that go, no, screw it, I'm going to have what I love the most first. What do you do? And I think that sort of defines quite a lot about somebody. <laughs> I'm like you, I eat the crap yeah, first, so yeah. I'm like, I just get that out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But okay, these days you know. I'm maybe a little bit more picky, I just yeah. like, well, I'm not going to eat it. I don't okay. worry, it's not good I'm, enough. Am I bringing it strong or should I go? No, brew it strong, brew it strong. Is that strong? That's a bit hold like... It, hold it, hold it, hold it. I didn't... Now. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I can do it. Look at that. You just show the double drop. Look at the difference in colour. Double, double drop. <laughs> Love it. Hashtag is Mayleaf Sessions, so all one word. M-E-I-L-E-A-F Sessions, really like. all yes. one so word. Like and you can uh, follow it on Instagram yeah. and we'll see what people are nice. tagging. Show us your setup. Show us what you're drinking. Show us who you're drinking with. I'm so thirsty, like literally, I feel like all my right, tongue right, is about right. to fall Here out of my go. mouth. The, as you said, there's definitely like a difference in the, the liquid. Color. The colour, I'm like, this one's clearer. This, this is clearer. Should we show it yeah. to the camera? Should we show both to the I camera? I know, but no, just, no. It's alright, just show both to the camera. Okay, so let's assess. Let's assess. Let's assess. Okay, so that one, clearer, mm. but that makes sense because this oh. one had more bud material, right? So that's going to have more fluff. No, this is clearer. Yeah, uh, No, this is clearer and no, this is darker. No. What are you oh, sorry. <laughs> what <do> you... <laughs> that, that's clearer and I'm... is much thicker. Look, look at that. <laughs> lock, lock versus... <laughs> Wait, the computer! Oh my God. <laughs> sorry, I, I, okay. I kept thinking darker. Yeah, it's darker yeah. and slightly clearer. Okay. Okay. Cheers, everybody! Cheers. Finally, <laughs> just took us twenty-six minutes. <laughs> Cheers, everybody! Texture is really nice. Mm. Oh, so we have the good ones. Okay. Oh. Voluminous, very, very mm. thick, but not like sticky thick. Actually, no. just kind of like thick and refreshing at the thick same and time. Thick and refreshing, very, uh, quite, quite fragrant, like. And the tongue yeah. lingers there. Well, there's such a nice fresh like aftertaste in those little glandulars. <laughs> glandulars. I don't know, like these little glandulars. <laughs> They're dancing. The chops, the, the, the chops are the your chops. The yeah. chops are not your glands. Like the back chops just here, like it has a little... Is that a British thing? Chops? <sighs> chops. Chops. Clean your chops. Chopsicles. Clean chops. Okay, so what do we think? I like, I like it. it. I like yeah, it, all right, but, but uh, it's, it's, that's, <laughs> we need a little bit and more. As in, as in, it's got a nice sweetness, Describe it's not it. too light. Describe okay, the flavour okay. for everybody flavor. at home. Um, okay, vanilla, strong vanilla yeah. aftertaste. Mm -hmm. mm. With that kind of um, summer day freshness in the field, so you yeah. get that, those floral notes, they're very yeah. light. It's actually it's got like a lightness to it. A minty, like, yeah. Yeah. like a, but you know like the mint teas, if yeah. you can have like a fresh mint tea, yeah. Yeah. the back yeah. refreshment. Yeah. Yes, you know. definitely. And it has a bit of that taste too, mm. I feel. And I get, um, I also get a nice honeyed, mm. you know, honeyed water yes. taste to it. My problem with it, Two things. First, intensity of flavour. Yeah. Could be a bit stronger. Could be a bit stronger. Mm. A bit. A bit. Second problem. Yeah. Well, I've thought of the third problem. Second problem, well, not quite fermenty enough in terms of yeah, taste. Yeah, you want it to be more I want a bit more sourness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bit more of that fruity note. And third problem is the finish. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not lasting. It's disappeared. I mean... It's got no, it's got no... Um, it's, it's pretty good compared to some aged white teas which have really nothing, you know, where you taste <coughs> it and you're like, well, it's What's just that? water, you know, it just doesn't... Oh, look, it's, it's nice tea. It's, it's got some strength, like it's got some fragrance and strength to it, but it's missing. It's just missing. Yeah. And that extra level. And you know that that probably is going to potentially have it and we're going to want to mix well, let's these. let's taste it. Okay, Ooh. let's see. Let's see. Ruben says, get more JS1. It, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could get more. Uh, unlimited leaves. That would be great. Okay, so this is exactly the opposite, right? The texture at the end is dry. It's quenching. It's giving me like mm. a mm, mm, little true. bit of bite. Yeah. I'm getting that sort of 
buddy, you know, tea bud sort of acorniness, like, you know, green nuts and things like that. True. The problem with it, it doesn't taste aged. Yes, <laughs> taste that's aged. exactly it. When I tried it, it tastes like just a white, a normal white tea. Yeah, it doesn't like taste a, aged. Like a Baimudan. Yeah, uh, like just, oh, white a white tea, a white tea. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like... It's got more sweetness than like some white teas, but it basically feels fresh. Yeah. It feels yeah. like they've stored it wrong. Yeah. And this is the experiment that we're doing about aging white teas. We started it about five, six months ago, mm. five months ago. We're going to wait another few months and then we're going to open up the different containers to see how they age differently. But that feels like it was kept for the kind of purpose of being sold fresh. Yeah. And then they ran out of time. Like, yeah. and they're like, oh, now let's call it an aged tea. Well, yeah. then they need to age it. Yeah. And unfortunately, True. I don't think the storage is that great. No. Yeah, shame. It's a shame, but you feel like maybe mixing the two could do something? This one is definitely a component that could be in Jade Star. Mm. This one's not. No. If it had more of an aged taste, then it could be. And we could have done the blend. Because sometimes we do that, where we find like a, a Gong Mei or a Bai Mudan or, or, or yeah, a Bai Mudan and we try and mix it with a bit of the large leaf material to give you that fruitiness and that more fermented taste. Hit it. Is that, yeah, no, yeah. do it. Pour it in. You're going to do it strong? Yeah, do like, it. Yeah, let's do it hard. Let's see hard knockout punch. Yeah. Because I have a suspicion that this is, you know, nice, nice from far, but far from nice. <laughs> nice you know that? From far, but far from nice. <laughs> you know, anyway, you just like a distance, you kind of. A Monet. Like, yeah. Like yeah. in the. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. So, what's everybody drinking out there? What are you all drinking? Oh. We've got we've got an interesting setup. Oh, oh I no. love it! What happened? Here we go. No, it's uh, it's it's. Oh, symbolic. I thought it was a bag upside down that you've like no. like throwing. Nine eight five Orejes what is, is gonna set the best that tea oh, bag, right. bag alight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is this is the anarchy of tea heads. <laughs> like, whoa, hey. Ah. Hey, that does burn quite beautifully, actually. Oh, wow, it's like a pump Whoa! Of okay, all right. That's a clever trick. I've seen that done before with the with the paper tubes, but I've never seen it like that. <laughs> the best nice one. Bag. Well, we are not That's responsible good, for any fires that happen in anybody's homes yeah, be as a result <laughs> of seeing that video. Okay? Yeah. Tea incense, <laughs> says Rough Blades. Mmm. <laughs> Ruben's asking how you take and share photos. You just take your photo on your camera, on your phone, go into Instagram. Uh, if you don't have an account, you're gonna have to create one. And then uh, throw in May Leaf sessions. Wow, we're we getting more. Okay, I didn't see all of these. I will not. <gasps> Jade Star. Here we go, we've got JS3. Got all my JS3s close. Don't go for daily drivers. There are too many other tea companies with disappointing teas. <laughs> Thank you, Thank people. You for um, reinforcing my, uh, <laughs> my, thoughts. my thoughts, thoughts on this. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. Dog. Wow. We got JS1, JS2, and Jenny. JS3. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny what are you hardcore. doing to us? All right, that, speaking of hardcore, that. should we brew that tea? Oh yeah, it's hardcore. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's how we it's want like it. Hardcore brewing. Keep them coming with your JS, with your sorry, your, yes. with your yeah. May Leaf sessions. Uh, and oh wow, That's so beautiful. many some. That's crisp. All right, okay, we'll show oh, one more. Look at that. Oh, it's like That's a deer beautiful. in the snow. Almost time for the May Leaf tea sessions. Symphony. Lots of tea. That's tea beautiful. and symphony. Beautiful picture. Gorge. I like that pot. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's taste this tea. Let's get back to business. <laughs> yeah. no, Everyone's asking about Pepsi drunk. and your brand affiliation. <gasps> what is this? Oh, you know. Vintage. Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running. I'm going to say I like Pepsi, but I, I drink tea. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you yeah. like the logo? I like the logo. It's is like that the 80s? Cool. Is that the 80s logo? I don't know. Maybe 90s. Maybe a bit of like. Uh, yeah, there you go. You know. Yeah, I, I quite like these kind of. T-shirts yeah. that had that 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 uh, form to it, like it's comfortable, it's, yeah, it's cool, a little bit just you bit know edgy. You know, I think I got off on it. How, how long did you brew this for? No I time. have no idea. This is really now much better. I should have counted the time. That must have been about a minute and a half. 
I reckon. Really? We were looking at tea bags <laughs> being burnt. It is actually quite nice. Yeah, a Pepsi Pain. Okay. Hey, uh, is there some surreptitious deal going on? Everyone's like asking a Pepsi Pain. Oh for, for, no, for... there's no conspiracy, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm... Just like I, the, uh, the top. Just like top. <laughs> I was thinking when I wore it today, I was like, am I going to get some like uh, did you? heat online for this? And you thought about it and you still did it. I did oh. it anyway. Because oh, yeah. I thought, you know, no, they so get me, is. they get me. Sh okay. Sean is saying it looks like the full sugar era of Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, it's full yeah. Shook. Full full shook. Shook. <laughs> Okay, I like this now. Yeah, I, like I still this don't now. think it's got enough for Jade Star. True. The, the, the smell on the empty cup smells like, oh my gosh, what is that? Smell the empty cup. Uh, it's, it's a sort it's of... It's got a bit of a bit of frankincense. Yeah, like a burnt, I was going to say incense. But not like burnt burnt, it's like more of a cleaner smell. It's like an essential oil burner. Yeah. With ylang ylang. Yes. Is it ylang ylang? Yeah, it's sort of sweet That's, and woody. It's like, yeah, it's cozy. Yeah, really, but really, really nice. There's also a food it kind of smells like. Like, a, what's that Greek dish? Oh. Spanakopita. Mm-mm. Uh, Are you going to ask me to name all Greek dishes? <laughs> it's like the most famous Greek dish. Give, tell me some ingredients. Is it sweet? It's like Is a it savory? lasagna, but it's not a lasagna. It's a... Moussaka. Moussaka. Ah. There's a moussaka smell to it. <laughs> like the, the cup afterwards. That might oh, be weird. I think, I think I know what you're saying. I think that might be a bit odd, but like <laughs> something... Moussaka. moussaka. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the... I just... Of... I get the creamy sort of creamy of and tomatoey note going yeah. on. Yeah. Sexy support group. Sexy support group. She's Sexy uh support she's saying group. that she's not going to sleep, or he's saying he's not going to sleep tonight. Oh yeah, oh, that's again. Tea. No, no idea of of he or she with these names. So apologies if I get your gender wrong. It's um, alright. Do an all nighter. You'll be fine the next day. Oh, uh, after that tea after dark. I was wired <gasps> after that. Man, yeah. I was <laughs> that tea after dark finished at about uh, at about midnight, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that. We got out around twelve thirty, mm. and then we stayed up till about five until five until about five. Yeah. But it was, was like heavy. the most hardcore tea one after Feature the face. other after the other. Fish face and and uh, and piggy. piggy ni and fish ni face. No, we no, always it's very it's very bad. I'm I'm very uh, greedy with my tea. All right, yeah. this one I'm not, no. It's just like a, yeah, a, a white peony or bang with that brood strong. Can you do it like the emperor style, like <laughs> gladiator style? <laughs> does that's, it get to live? That's what my little niece does. My little niece, Estella, <laughs> whenever you feed her anything, right? She does not go she, like that. She does. <laughs> no. she does. She does, I swear. And it's not, it's not something we that's didn't a game. Have anything. It's not a game for her. It's like, that's, she, that's just a natural reaction. Because yeah. she can't speak because her mouth is full. Yeah. So she does this. Like that. <laughs> and, and she does great. She's like, it's like, and this is like, it's not yeah. so bad. And, if, you, and if, she, if she eats and she does, you, that is like the best feeling. Yeah. As an uncle, that is like the best feeling. It's like, oh, it's so oh she gave me the thumbs up. Thank <laughs> hey, you. Yeah. Yeah. Estella. Uh, Estella doing it. Okay, so yeah. thoughts on this? Look, they're, they're all right. They're just not great. This is a new farmer, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Soon to be an older farmer, maybe. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm gonna do my hair back up. Like I said, like I've had. I like this one. I've had like way weaker. Kind yeah, of age but you whites. did brew that one for a long time. That's the thing. That's why I'm kind yeah. of like, well, it's a, it's all right. If you I reckon we give it one more brew and okay. brew it like sort of a minute and let's okay. see if it. So has we're forgetting that one altogether. Is that correct? Are we being a bit harsh? Well, of course we're being harsh. Oh man. <laughs> That's what we have to do. It's a good tea. I mean, it's nice yeah. as a white peony, but not as an aged white peony. Yeah, you want that more of this fruity, raisiny, nice. as an aged, alcoholic As, as just notes. a standard. Standard white tea. A bit, a bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, a bit green, a bit yeah. not great, but it's all right, mm. it's okay. All right, so we're gonna um, do some giveaways for these white teas. What? 
we the... don't but we don't have enough tea. okay well if we don't have enough we'll give away of some other white teas that we have other jade star jade star four contenders we'll do uh two giveaways for what what jade star for for jade star four contenders so all the the we've got a whole bucket of white teas Ooh. that have failed the jade star test oh yeah so you know we we've got plenty to give away yeah, so we'll do true. two we'll do two um uh, giveaways oh. two prize winners um you guys out there need to type in lucy <laughs> do you what do you want them to type in um i would like them to type in swan lake Swan Lake. Yeah. Okay, that's really, <laughs> really random. Just to go with the whole trippy vibe Swan of Lake. Swan Lake. Just, just Swan Lake. as if like, I was just yeah. going to say JS4 because that would be easy, but they have to type in Swan Lake. Swan Lake. Okay, all right. Here Get we ready go. with your fingers. Um, do I well, do I just start with this and then we do Yeah, the, you know okay. that. <laughs> People write in Swan Lake. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how much slower it is compared to like yeah. just when it takes off more. So uh, I don't know. Oh god, hit it. And we start here. Okay, so we've got Fabian Van Roy, we've got Marianne Fleur, we've got Frank Briotta, we've got Ooh. Steve Chevali, we've got Femke Lodovic, and we've got Anna Litwina. Do you want to throw that dice? Go for it, Luz. Try just... blowing it for last. I don't know what one. <laughs> Fabian oh. Van Royen writes to us on our website. So go Fabian. to our website, go to About Us, find the contact page. Write to us, tell us your name, tell us your YouTube name, tell us your address, tell us what you've won, and we will send uh, some Jade Star 4 contenders to you. Another one, let's do it again. Goose Pond, yeah, that would count. Goose that would count. Pond. That would count. Goose Pond. I would accept Goose Pond. Okay. Okay, so we've got uh, Raphael Sandoval, Stefan Dumitrescu, um, Wilken Soa, Sweden Gabriel, Kenpa64, and uh, the Pure Leaf. Ooh, go. go for it, Liz. Five. Kenpa, Ooh. Kenpa64, go for it, congratulations. Yeah. We will send you a whole. Uh, sampling of aged white teas for you to sample see which ones we rejected for Jade Star 4 I tell you there's some very good teas but not great teas there all right enough of your goose ponds and swan lakes there'll be plenty more <laughs> giveaways I promise let's do some Q&A's while we continue drinking this a la are we, oh, are we switching no let's no, no. drink and do some Q&A's so yeah. Q&A let's see Victoria Light Owler Stalberg, Scandinavian sounding to me, says, Hi Don, I've recently found your channel and I'm so excited. I had, an experience, I had experienced a tea ceremony and fallen in love with Gong Fu style, but was left with no idea where to find proper tea and tea wear. Da la 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 la. Uh, not la 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 la. Thank you for the compliments, but I thought I wouldn't just read out compliments. Um, <laughs> at the tea ceremony I attended, we used smelling cups. Mm -hmm. But you don't. Any particular reason? For those of you who don't know what smelling cups are... Should I go get one? Yes, please. Okay. Smelling cups are long elongated cups that you use to um, fill the tea into and then you invert them. You've seen this, right? And then you lift them up and you can smell and it's nice because it's a long cylinder and therefore it holds the smell for longer and it's just nice to hold in your hands mm. and, and smell. I like smelling cups. I think that they are, they are nice, they're useful. But I don't think that they give you anything extra in terms of information that you can't get out of smelling the empty cup or the empty gong dao bay. So I don't add it to the collection simply because it's just another thing on the on the uh, on the guru. Sorry, so it's a bit messy. This one. This one. Oh, I've so there you go. Seen this one before. It's kind of cute. These are. Oops. Yeah, it's alright that one, isn't it? So this is the smelling cup, oh, like this. So do you want to show them how it works, yeah, Celine? Huh? Can you, do you want to show them how it works? Put yeah. some tea in here. Okay, let me just rinse it a bit. I haven't used this <laughs> yeah. in a while. They look like they're a bit dusty. Yeah. So yeah, you can use smelling cups. They're often um, more used in Taiwan, actually, I've found. Um, and, um, but I find that you can just smell the empty cup and you can smell the empty gong dao bei, so you don't really need it. 
go for it. So you fill. Oh. You think you feel? So you sort of fill the. Do you think that was strong enough though? Well, it was over a minute. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good actually. It looks it's pretty nice. strong. In fact, you know what? You go loose. <laughs> <laughs> the drabs. So. <laughs> The nuts uh, are good so one. you put the the uh, drinking cup on top, and you do the flip. Flippity. You then serve to your guests like this, and your guests can then go la 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 la. Mm. Go mmm. Mmm, moussaka. <laughs> it actually really does smell moussaka. Yeah. Um, I smell sage. Is it's it like the sage? Savory. Yeah, it's got a savory note to it. You're right. Um, so that's how you use a smelling cup and that's why we don't use mm. them not because we don't like them But we don't think True. it's necessary sage. sage isn't it? Yeah, so there's some sage. So th that's the savory note going through I don't know if they put sage in Musaka, Musaka but similar woodsy herbs. Yeah, would work though. Ow, that was hot <laughs> That's what okay. you get for giving me uh, this little uh, you friend it. over here um, <laughs> Marina says she's excited to make it this time welcome marina i know welcome. that you've had to miss a few um do you have any advice on home tea storage regarding room temperature and air conditioning i am planning a whole series on storage um but you know really it's not that difficult mm. <laughs> so you know is air conditioning is not great because it dries out the air yeah. um or it can dry out the air depending on the air conditioning you have but if you're in a hot country and that's the only way to keep your temperatures you know not too uh, ridiculous, then you have to do what you've got to do. Um, but try to keep it out of the draft so that it's not sort of being dried out by moving air. Mm. Um, and, you know, temperature anywhere between sort of, you know, for, for green teas and green oolongs, cooler is better. Mm. But for, you know, raw pours and uh, teas that you want to age, then I recommend like sort of 20, 25 degrees Celsius. Um, and so, you know, room temperature is all good. You know, there's not big storage issues that you have with tea, so don't worry too much about it. All right, some questions from you out there. If you uh, would like to ask any questions, we are now checking out the chat room, so you can answer some, so you can answer some questions, actually. It's not uh, very strong anymore. No. Fabian, competition winner, says, no. I use a shoe box, which perfectly fits the little boxes. Oh, does it? Nice. Very nice. Very, well done. Um, <laughs> Uh, a tea master told Alex that uh, raw pua is not good for his chi. Well, to each their own. Um, but I know it can be very, very powerful. Um, you think of ever adding aged shung outside of stuff like pendulum meddler, where it's aged shung? Huh? Do you get that? Uh, Do you think of ever adding aged shung outside of stuff like pendulum meddler, where it's just aged shung? Maybe he means young shung around the edge of age shung. That could be interesting, but it would be almost impossible to press. That's the problem with that one. What is the May Leaf's take on the classic hay chow with golden flowers? I love that tea, Protherium. I do love that tea. I've got several bricks of that golden flower spore uh, hay chow. Mm. Um, the Fu brick tea from, uh, from Hunan. Uh, really like it. My issue with it and the reason why we haven't selected it for Mayleaf is just simply that they all sort of taste very similar um, and I can't find anything that is really standing out as like an amazing, I don't know, something different, something unique that I go, that is something special, I yeah. want to get it in. They're great teas though, don't get me wrong, I do like them. Uh, Benedict is asking if silver teaware is planned. I will answer a question back to your question. Are you seriously prepared to spend the money? <laughs> because you know, we've been looking at silver teaware because we see a lot of requests for it. Yeah. Um, and if you, um, you know, are prepared to fork out that dollar bill it's or euros, expensive. it's expensive. Good yeah. silver teaware is expensive. Like a silver guy one. Silver teapots. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, if you're one. interested, we can source them. We cool. found we found uh, yeah. we found connections for little small silver uh, gongfu start size. Yeah, they're beautiful. Guy ones or no pots? no no pots. Sorry. Do Gong... they not do guy one? I think you. I think you'd be too hot. Yes. It'd be too hot. It'd be too hot. Um, what else? What are some good tea green teas to try if I want to gradually ease into the vegetal flavors? Says Oliver Yi. See for me. 
Jade's sword is the least vegetal, yeah. right? It's the mm -hmm. most sort of floral, fresh yeah. and bright and slight fruitier yeah. one. So Jade's st Jade sword moving into... Uh, Naked Spring has quite a um, Naked Spring. freshness to it. Yeah. Naked Spring is a sort of, of love-hate one. I yeah, it has a bit of bite Naked to it. Sp Spring because of its bite. But yeah. if you don't like teas with bite, then, then that might not be for you. So Jade Sword is much gentler. Naked Spring is really uh, like beautiful, it's, vibrant, nutty and green. And then you've it's, got... It's like tasting fresh bamboo. That's how it reminds yeah. me. That's how fresh it is, even though it has a bite to it. Yeah. It's, it's actually quite light <laughs> considering... I, I love that tea. I yeah. go to it all the time, especially early morning. I early love morning. that as my wake up tea. Yeah. Naked spring. It's not so much yeah, it's just it's tea. like such an amazing way to wake up. Yeah. It's like you take it's it's like just after you've kind of that feeling yeah. after you brush your teeth, yeah. it's just like wow. You yeah, know, it's yeah. so it's so bracing. Yeah. Then um, melon seed green is, is more sweet and sort of a little bit oolongy. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's not too vegetal. Milk. And then Long Jing is sort of your crossover point, right? Where you're nutty. getting some vegetal notes in yeah. and some nutty notes. And then obviously green coil is more vegetal. Yeah. Then you're moving into your senses yeah. and then you're moving into your kyokuros. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's kind of a general spectrum that I would say. True. Um, yes, Song Tae says, Luan Gua Pian right. is good. I do love that tea. Made from larger leaves and so it's not going to have that much, as much of that sort of um, early picking vegetal note to it. Nice. Which what tea do you describe as angel's body odor? That is Eastern <laughs> Beauty. Angel's body. Odor. Eastern Beauty. Eastern man. Beauty. Yeah. That's so true. And That's with, so beautiful. Yeah, angel's body odor. It smells amazing. But you know, we had an issue with, with Eastern Beauty. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had an issue with Eastern Beauty, but we've resolved it. Um, we we got um, sent some Eastern Beauty and. They did it again. Right. They sent us the wrong batch. Yeah. And you can smell it in immediately. I Terrible. looked at it and I was like, mm. Really? So I literally the smelt the dry leaf. I was like, Not Angel's body odor. That's not Angel's body odor. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, Okay, I'll brew it up. Mm. And then you, it's the moment you hit the yeah. moment that I smelt those wet leaves, I was like, Definitely not, but I'll keep going. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but it's, it's, oh. it's, it's sorted. We've, we've managed to get the right batch. Yeah. Nice. Um, Steve Chevalli says, Are mainly planning to sell some clay tea storage this year? We have been selling clay tea storage already. The problem with it is it, it breaks so easily. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you've got it, obviously, but the postage from China to, to the UK, we've lost so much of it. And um, also, you know, occasionally we send it and it gets broken as well because oh. these postmen just like, I swear they do like things that catch, catch. practice, exactly. <laughs> Uh, what pua can you suggest for a beginner? Asked Claire's Stitching Corner. Depends if you want raw or cooked. Mm. But what would you say as raw, a beginner? For a raw one? No, what would you say if someone said, I want to get into pua's, where would you, where would you put I them? would start with raw. And yeah. which one would you pick? I would pick Young Gushu or... Uh, ooh, hee, that's hard. Nectar, nectar Raider. Okay, so the hard thing that's going on in her head <laughs> is that... She would like to say Nectarator because it's so easily accessible yeah. and enjoyable. Yes. But it's more expensive than Nuzzle Diver. Yes. So you're thinking maybe you should do Nuzzle Diver, yes. which is also really nice, accessible and fresh, but not as honeyed as You can nectar. read my mind now, I can't you? <laughs> That's really good. That's Translator sick. to my one worder. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but if it was a, like a darker one, like... After party. After party. After party. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, that one. you know, you, you never know what their taste is going yeah. to be. That's so they true. might like more That's of the cavernous true. note yeah. to it. Yeah. So you don't know. But and yeah. definitely young Gushu, though. Yeah, young Gushu. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, let's quickly take a look at what's happening on Insta. We've no, got no, no. Wiccan Soa. Whoa, look at those boxes. I like those boxes. I like nice little tea boxes that you got. Set up for May Leaf Sessions drinking Yuchi Wild Black Tea from 2018 Ooh. from Taiwan. Mm, mm, mm. Sweet, sugary, and fruity like Oi. jam cookies. Oh, jam nice. cookies. Nice. Yes. Give that a heart. I want to do Okay, it. so. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Marianne oh, Fleur, Marianne. how much chocolate do you have in the house? Oh. My golly gosh. Everything. Oh my god, look at that. I it's love so it. funny though, look how she picked those plates and we We are so similar. Oh god, I can't see my mouse anymore. Channel my mouse is a We have picked these plates, Marianne. So you know what? Here we go. Clearly, 
we've both gone for floral vintage with chocolate, which is not an obvious move, I would say. Yeah. Um, wow. That's, like that is, that's, that's, that's pretty patterns. intense amount yeah. of chocolate she's got going on there. Yeah. No, it's fun. And what else? Someone's Someone got pee. drinking beer. With the... Someone's drinking beer? Who? Yeah. Where? Go, go up, up on the, the grid. Someone's drinking Blue Moon Belgian <laughs> White. <laughs> Oi! Claire! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> you so better funny. be mixing that with some tea. <laughs> Amber Gabba, really Amber Gabba, Gabba, really concentrated Ooh, Amber Gabba. Nice. Poured into some Belgian white beer. Ooh. There you go. That could be good. Do that. that I'll give you a like grudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Diamond Peak, yeah. Yes. It's got some time to go. It'll start bobbing up and down. Femke's set up. Nice. Go for the dry, minimal setup. That looks so cozy. Nice, man. looking cozy. I like that cozy. She's setup. got the hugger going on. Oh, definitely. All right, yeah. cool. Oh, Wes. Now people oh, are just Wes. showing off. It's the Jade Star trilogy. They're I just showing these, cool. showing it's like off, Star Wars. mixing. It's so nice to see them next to each other. Though. Oh, oh so definitely beautiful. gets a like. Okay, enough of that. We will get back to the program. But I'm glad you guys are posting. We will continue to survey. Those, and we will uh, now move on to chocolat. Oh, chocolat. Chocolat. Oh, le chocolat. Okay, <laughs> chocolat. so can you sort out the yeah. wares and I will break out the chocolate. Now, Good. people out there. Peeps. There's something just so. Peeps. Exciting. Yeah. We need to say a big shout out. You know Alain Ducasse. Alain Ducasse. You know Alain. You know yeah, Alain, Alain Ducasse. Alain Ducasse. Alain Ducasse, one of the most celebrated chefs on the planet. No less than 21 Michelin stars to his name. Wow. Um, has. Wow. <laughs> not that stars means everything. <laughs> no. No, there's some amazing food from people with, that have no stars. But um, this is Le Chocolat from Alain Ducasse. Um, kindly donated for this session oh. and I know that these chocolates are expensive big shout That's out so to nice. Lisa and Phil yeah. from caffeine magazine also known as tea guide London if you're not following tea guide London's Instagram page hello <laughs> 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 tea guide London uh, make no, sure you great. that they they, they they are seriously pushing the tea scene yeah. forward um, and they um, sorted this out for us. It. They went to Alain Ducasse in London and they requested some chocolates for the May Leaf session to taste with you guys yeah. and Alain Ducasse's team kindly obliged. So we've got some seriously premium mm. chocolate here which is always good and we expect nothing I'm less. I'm always up for dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is wrong. one of my absolute joys outside of lots of other things <laughs> but seriously it is up there it's probably about 20 percent of tea which is saying a lot oh do you know what i mean i love dark chocolate you do. have you, you always do. loved dark chocolate um no i tell you when i started loving dark chocolate when i started to go keto mm, yeah. because i wasn't eating sugar but did you also did you like a milk chocolate before that yeah i was probably more my, yeah. my mouth was more mm. accustomed mm. to sort of sweeter chocolates yeah. And then when I stopped eating sugar, yeah. this became like my ultimate treat. And anything else just tasted way too sweet. Yeah. Way, way, way too sweet. Okay, I, I'm, I'm getting distracted. Oh. Holy moly. Oh my god. Right, I have to show this one. That is this impressive. is the last one, I promise. Kevin, Kevin. You could make a serious wallpaper with that. <laughs> so I really, cut them yeah. all out. That's that so is true. serious amount of tea. You must have the whole collection. Beautiful. beautiful. I wish That's I could stunning. double heart it, but I can't. Okay, Aww. so here we go. For those of you who don't know about that much about chocolate, just like tea, chocolate has cultivars or varieties, and it's often not discussed. So obviously you've got all of the same things that apply to tea, you've got your, your season of picking of the, the cocoa um, uh, bean. You've got um, the cultivar, the origin, how it's picked and processed in the elevation. I don't know the scope on all of this, it doesn't give me all of that, but what is great about Alain Ducasse chocolate is that they do talk about the cultivar. Nice. 
and that is really good because you start to taste yeah. the differences. It's like you not not knowing not knowing if um, a tea is a Guanyin variety or a Huangdan variety or Qilan variety, and that's just saying oolong tea. It's mm. so nice that they're putting these on, and there's Criollo here. Mm. And as soon as I saw Criollo, it, like my eyes bulged because I know that <laughs> that cultivar that makes up something like three percent of chocolate in the world. Oh my God, that's it. Yeah, the the cultivar which makes up the most is called Forestera. I think Forestera, and that makes up about 85% or 80 to 85%. Because it's easier to grow. Because high yield, yeah. easy to grow. The taste is very chocolate. Mm. It's just uh, chocolatey. Yeah. But it doesn't have as much nuance around them, mm. you know? Whereas these other more kind of older varieties are um, a little bit more nuanced, right. supposedly. So we've got Criollo from Mexico. Wow. We've got a Chuncho from Peru, Chuncho. which is apparently a a cultivar which is specifically Peruvian cultivar. So again, a nice rare cultivar for Peru. And we've got a Trinitario from Vietnam. Mm. Trinitario is a cross between Criollo and Forestero. Oh, interesting. So it's half Ooh. Criollo. It's a mixy. So we've got a Trinitario, <laughs> we've got a Chincho, and we've got a Criollo. We've got Vietnam, oh. Peru, and Mexico. Do you wanna um, break some chocolate? Look so, at these lovely packs. Are we tasting them first and then bring Let's the taste tea? the chocolate first and yeah. then we are gonna yeah. move into pairing them with, look how they... Oh, so pretty. Um, okay, I'm just gonna... It's actually quite beautiful. Oh, it's pretty, actually quite easy to do. <laughs> so you just snap Okay, so... Ah. So this is Yeah, Peru. don't mix it. So, Peru. In the middle. All right, so get your chocolates out, people. Let's <laughs> eat chocolate together. <laughs> okay, so this one. Okay. Chocolate. Have you ever seen Shop that movie? Oh, small ones. Uh, with uh, what's Johnny her name? Depp. And, and Julia Binoche. Julia Binoche. Yeah, I think I have on the plane. <laughs> I think I was half asleep though. Chocolate. Is it like? Is it really cheesy? Oh, it's like it's so yeah, but you know it's okay. Mm. Here we go. Chocolat, yeah, the price of these chocolates is a bit eye-watering, so... Ooh, ooh, sorry. What happened? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I wanted to laugh when you said eye-watering, but then I also wanted to undo my belt because it's a little bit tight and it's like... It just, Let's do it. Look, now we can see. It just oh, like... Uh, you need to move up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now we can see. Now, you know what? To pull the t-shirt out, then you're good. You can yeah. just cover it all. Yeah. Strips! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, just, just comfy. Get, 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 just, get just get comfy. comfy. Just get comfy. Uh, gotta okay. get comfy with chocolate and cake. All right, here we go. Should we do Vietnam Perfect. first? Yeah. Okay, so I like to, up to you, I'm not telling you how to eat your chocolate, but I like to just le oh. let it melt on my tongue and touching my, my top palate for a while before I start to move into it. This is going to be very boring. 30 seconds. Mm. Takes to, time. It takes a while to melt. <laughs> Jackson saw chocolate in French class. <laughs> <laughs> that was when the teacher was feeling super lazy. Yeah. This is like, I just put a chocolate in it. Chocolate. Something French about it. Mm. Petra's saying, relax. I oh, know, that was so sweet of her. Okay, what notes are we Thank getting? You. Oh, wow. I'm getting distinct black cherry note. Mmm. Big Macerated mind. black cherry with it, in, as if it's been dunked in a yeah. little bit of vinegar. Just a it's little very, bit. It's quite sweet. Mm. Mm. I'm it's getting real black forest gato. Yeah. Totally. Mm. Totally. Almost Ooh. like a, like you know those cherry chocolates with like liquor in it? It's not like that, but like pure. It's good. It's I really, really good. like that one. It's, it's, it's woods. It's a little bit woodsy. It's got a bit of a woody spice to it. Mm. But real deep black forest gato. You feel the, yeah. the, the, the sort of, the, the deepness of it yeah you know? definitely like a, like a forest yeah in like the you know Norfolk at midnight and there's like just little cherry trees and cranberry trees <laughs> there and like little yeah. animals walking around <laughs> that's what it tastes like <laughs> yeah <laughs> little furry creatures <laughs> okay 
All right. Very yeah. sweet. Very yeah. yeah. Very cherry. But but it does have quite a bitterness mm. at the end. It does. Yeah. The end is quite bitter, no? I don't find it that bitter right now. I get quite distinct bitterness to it's it. It's like cranberry bitterness, like. Oh, okay. I get that. Mm. Like a I slight acidity feel, yeah. more than. But bitter, you know, huh? but lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. Okay, let's move on to uh, the chuncho. Chuncho, chuncho from chuncho. Peru. Cheers. Claire would love to see a beer tea matching. I'm not sure if that would work, but. We can I, try. We can find. Oh my god, totally oh, different. Food. Well, how are you main, melting so, so fast? fast? I've got a hot mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Toke, totally different. Yeah, that's um. <laughs> that tastes savory. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? That tastes savory. You know what? What type of savory? Of are you not like it? No. Ham. Cheesy. It's cheese. It's cheesy. It's oh, okay. Cheese. It's more cheesy. It's yeah, goat's yeah, yeah. cheese, cheesecake. Oh, there we go. Like a, like a really, it's a really cheesy cheesecake though. Not like a sweet cheesecake. And it's more... Mm. It's like a cheesecake not made in New York, but made in France. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried a cheesecake from France. Um, Have I? In London at that restaurant. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't in France though. I know, but that was a French, French restaurant. restaurant. Sorry, I can't remember. I can't um, remember. It's but yes, that was very interesting. got a distinct, I love this. It's got a distinct goat's cheese note, but it's also got orange blossom. Mm. Mm. I get loads of honey and orange blossom. It's like you've taken goat's cheese and sp sprinkled over loads of orange blossom honey. Yeah, it's true actually. It's delicious. It reminds me of... Like, much less savoury in that market. I think it's reminds me of the meal Giuseppe would have made you. Oh, don't bring Giuseppe. <laughs> nobody knows, <laughs> nobody knows about they Giuseppe. Do. They do. Um, Imaginary... Um, you know, I'm a bit funny with Italian cheese. Man. I like it, cheese in general, but it's it. there's something a bit that makes me feel uncomfortable about cheese too. I don't like it that much. I love this chocolate. But it's, I'm always on the cusp of, I love this, but it makes me feel weird, you know? But isn't that good? Yeah, but it's like, I can never relax with this. It's always like, challenge, it keeps me on my toes to be like, I might get gross, but I, it never does, you know? I, like I have no problem, I find, it, I find it an absolute revelation to me, because that, mm. I've never had a chocolate that tastes like cheesecake. I, I have to say, you know, I was being a bit harsh with the whole ham and sausage thing. It's definitely <laughs> much more, more. very cheesy cheesecake. Yeah. But like... It's very nice. It's actually very nice. To me, it's like way more... Cheesecake makes it sound like 100% like... Oh, you're thinking like... Dreamy. More you know? goat's cheesy. It's like, it's like cheese. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. hardcore <laughs> cheese. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like, okay, yeah, it's right, got right. more that pun. <laughs> yeah, true. Right. True. It's, it's not like a gentle cheese. It's a cheese with some character. Yeah. You know? Alex is saying, don't overthink it, Lucy, your cheese, man. Just go with the weirdness, <laughs> man. Just go with it. Yeah, man. I dig it. I like it a lot. It just makes me, it's just a bit exciting in a weird way for me. <laughs> it's like I'm not sure if I'm thrilled or okay. like scared. I am super excited by both. this. Criollo. It's actually porcelana criollo, so that's a particular type of criollo. So this, this is like a big deal. This is a chocolate. big deal. There is, it's very rare that you get chocolate made out of single criollo cultivar. It's like super, super rare. You're talking about less than sort of 2% probably of the chocolate, probably even less than that. This is porcelana, which is a type of criollo, supposedly porcelana because that comes from porcelain because the Flowers are very white, like porcelain. Beautiful. Interesting. Cheers. I already saw in mine. I know. And I feel like, because I said it's savory last time, I'm feeling like maybe I shouldn't say that this time, but it tastes more savory than the other one. Oh my it's God. Quite, like, it's quite hardcore. Mm. Very coffee-like. Mm. Very roasted coffee. <laughs> I'm pairing, uh, he's pairing with a Cadbury, hashtag student. <laughs> <laughs> Cadbury's that. man, boy yeah. I love that. There's a very little difference between Cadbury's and Anna de Grasse. <laughs> wow. 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 It's very Serious nutty. Serious nutty cocoa yeah. note. It's so... So cocoa. cocoa. It's so cocoa. It's true. It's like, it's like, um, as if cocoa was covered in cocoa. 
you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like almost so powdery good. cocoa. Not in the yeah. texture, but it's like so... You know when you make a hot chocolate and you get really that powder? Yeah. And you smell it like that's cocoa. That's proper cocoa, But it yeah. lasts so long. Yeah. It's super that's long the most lasting. That's chocolatey chocolate. It's but really it's got really coffee, it's got raisins. Yeah. It's got a bit of cocoa, toasted yeah. coconut. True. In uh, After you've uh, finished, it's like those... You know when you have chunks of coconut that have been toasted and you can buy them sometimes yeah <laughs> and just eat them like this toasted coconut mm. no yeah i'm getting raisins acidity but wow amazing i feel wow. like i need it with some tea they're all great they i would say my favorite of these two and i would say that that is the most serious chocolate taste it's i, mean, I would say these two gorgeous as well yeah. you would pick these two you're, yeah. you're a little bit averse to the cheese what about you Lucy? just because of the first moment that i had with it like this is Everything, yes. Okay. Yeah. By the way, I just saw this, sorry to mm -hmm. interrupt you. We will be giving some giveaways of teas and include a little bit of chocolate. So you can <laughs> taste this as well. Hopefully it will arrive in decent condition. So we will be passing it for, we're not allowed Hopefully. to eat all of these. Okay? Cool. All right. So you will be getting some <laughs> chocolate if you win. Well. All right. <laughs> let's do this. So let's brew up a tea. Okay. You brew up a tea. What tea you brew? I'm brewing. Um, and let's so do this quite quick. The first tea that we're thinking is uh, Boulang Black. So I'll tell you the teas that we've picked out out of random. Mm. Is we did Boulang Black, and the reason for that is because only Boulang, Boulang Black for me has a little bit of the malt, yeah. but it also has a little bit of that sort of black currant -y sort of acidity. Makes sense. Like that. I hope that that's going to work. We've also got Superior Iron Goddess. Thank you for the super chat, Wandering oh, Marine oh, Veteran. Thank you, Wandering oh. Marine Veteran. <laughs> With all my heart done, the Swan Lake that is May Leaf inspires me to have a thriving quality tea business and channel. Aww. Very well written as well. We're happy to, <laughs> to be partners on the tea on the tea promotion quest. Okay, so uh, we've got Superior Iron Goddess, which is very floral. And I was hoping, I think that this one might pick up some of that orange Ooh. blossom note to it. Uh, we've got duck shit, because obviously we want that nut and we want those cherries. Yeah, almonds and cherries. Mm. We got amber gabba because I thought maybe a bit of muscat raisiny note Ooh, nice. to it. And we've got nectarator simply because I want to drink nectarator. Oh but also gosh. because it's sweet and I think work. it would work. Okay, so we need to move it quick though work. on these. And I'm going to move this out the way. Um, and um, I'm so fascinated. How yeah. did they make a chocolate taste like goat's cheese? I don't know. Yeah, it, that's it, it, like, quite it's twisting my melon a bit. For yeah. sure. <laughs> Alright. Might put a bit more out there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had an extra go, didn't they? <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do first is just. Oh, look at this luxury of it. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, I would love to say this is how we have our. Actually, this is not, this is not that far off <laughs> no. an average Saturday night. Apart from the fact that these are prime this, chocolates, no. That's tea, yeah? That's no. Chuck. Oh. Sorry. Oh, tea pet, pets. Pet. Oh, keep them warm. Keep them warm. Keep you know, warm. I really love your little peanut um, tea pet. You and the peanut. I really enjoy the peanut. Mm. But it doesn't have any <laughs> face. Oh. It's, I just like a, it's just, I like its nothingness, you know? <laughs> I've, never, I've, never, I've never had a tea session with the peanut. And um, I keep forgetting to mention that I it would, help would like to that. have it in my life. Here you go. Thank you. The peanut, the most bizarre of all tea pets it's in our collection. <laughs> Hello. It's very hot. It's so random. The peanut. It's so, yeah, it's so common random. I mean, it's risky, man. You might want to try and eat it and then you break its tooth. Thank you. <laughs> you can have the peanut. There we go, we put it there. Okay, so, Boulang Black. Oh! oh. oh. I was, too, I, was too, <laughs> I was too excited about drinking it and I realised I shouldn't drink right away because it's, it's, it's hot. Rude. Look at the mist on it, it's I rude. love that. Owsies. Okay, okay. cheers everybody, Boulang cheers. Black. Cheers. Did I drop yours ones? Huh? Mm. No, I just put a little bit of my Oh, oh Luz, okay. you've got nothing well, left. No, I do, I have them. I love them. So, distinct black oh, currant cheers. and malt. Oh. Such a great tea. I love this. Because oh. it's got those sort of little fruity, malty notes of a poor. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't, I do not know why I neglect black tea so much. Whereas whenever I have it, it's like, oh, it's, I get that feeling. Yeah. It's so good. I know what you mean. Black tea is that, the, the tea oh. type that you sort of go, oh, well, yeah, yeah. it's a black tea. Yeah. It's sort of a, sort of a, 
Yeah, something different. Yeah, let's do yeah. something different. So black yeah. tea. But this tea, amazing. It's okay. So lovely. Black currant malt, anything else that you're getting from it? I still have that chocolate aftertaste in my mouth. Can you bring your cup, please? Mm. Thank you. Wow, that was hot. Yeah, I brewed it at quite hot temperature. Okay, so now yeah. we have to do the chocolate tea sandwich. Okay? Okay. Have a little sip of tea. Okay. Mm, yum, yum. Have a little bit of chocky. Oh, it's so. There's something. It's floral. Now I'm biting. Just. Mm. Oh, you're biting it. Wow. Much, much more acidity <laughs> when you bite. Have you noticed the difference? Mm -hmm. When you let it go slow, mm. yeah. it's much more, it's, the acidity is so much more toned down. Mm. When you bite it, suddenly the acidity comes through. I much prefer biting it. <laughs> Good for you. That's, oh, a chocolate hey, That works really well. <laughs> I'm not just saying that, but that, that black currant note yeah. comes through. But does it cover up too much of the tea? You know what I mean? I don't think so. I think it's nice. I think it's really nice. I think it, it makes it more malty compared to like the because if the chocolate's so fruity and then you get more of a malty caramelly note with the tea. Could do some more. Yeah. I liked that. You didn't like that? I thought the woodsy notes of the tea and the woodsy notes of the of the chocolate paired quite well. Yeah. And I think that the acidity in the chocolate just sort of brought out the black currant in the tea. You didn't like it. No, I, like I said, it's not that I don't like it, but I'm worried that it covers up the tea too much. Okay. I think it does bring a little malty note to it, like extra with the taste of the chocolate, but I don't think, I'm thinking it covers it up a bit. What are you guys eating and drinking out there? What are you pairing with your chocolates? Let us know. Okay, so we need wait, to... Wait, oh, okay. wait, 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 wait. Chow Joe style brewing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, moving on to the next one. So we can Cheers. just do a snapshot here. Okay. Which one do you take? This one? Goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh my god, that tea, that chocolate is amazing. Did you just bite into it, yeah? Yeah. I, I oh. think we need to cut them more because um, at this rate, um, it's not going to happen for people to have this chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, inhale. But this tastes like speculose. Yeah, it's this really one. nice. No, no, exactly. It's less cheesy, isn't mm. it? Tastes like speculos. Yeah, it's much better through crunching it. But I don't think the tea works very well with it. No, that gets completely covered. Just up. cancels it out. Yeah. All definitely. right. Finally, a bit of Priolo. I just that okay. I know we okay. Mm. That's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. The middle one. Oh. Wow. What is that taste? That's so. Hmm. Eh. For me, it in, I think this tea enhances the nutty notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. It's like boom, hazelnut. Yeah. But it's not like, for me, the best pairing was Bulan Black in Vietnam. Mm. For me, because it covered up to I'm, after it tasting these score three, out of ten. Okay, this one I would say, are we doing points? Are we doing like what else would it be out of ten? Well, you can do seven point. Oh, no, 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 not points. Okay. No, no, no. I would say seven. Seven, okay, that's quite high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say 7.5. Oh, you prefer that Shit. one. No, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't do points, can I? So eight. Eight, here we go. And this one? Nah. Nah, it just doesn't work. I will have to say I preferred this one over this one. Okay. All right, so, so what I'll do... But I kind of like the middle <laughs> <laughs> but not the pairing, we're talking about the pairing. Uh, yeah. Um, you, you know, what? none of them like kind of like, no, I like them, but team. I don't know what yeah. I have to try yet. Okay, but we yeah. need to, okay, so for me, so we're, we're definitely saying it doesn't work with this one though, Celine, right? No, it doesn't work okay, with that so one. Okay, so, so just we'll, cross we'll, that say, one. we'll say kind of cross and tick. Right, yeah. alright, let's move on. Next, we have... So, everyone out there, they're drinking rock oolongs. Yeah, I was thinking of getting a rock oolong as well. Mm. So, rock oolongs with orange Mill Creek cacao roasters, 70% dark, says the keeper of the books. Scott is saying he's pairing with uh, Tongmu Black. I agree with Celine, can't taste the tea with the strength of the 70% chocolate. Wait till you find the right pairing. It's amazing how tea feels like it's not strong enough, and then right. you find the right pairing and it just sings. Mm. 
Uh, I'm pairing fries with Tia Guan Yin 25 fries. years. Yeah, because I got the munchies from all that tea. <laughs> Fair enough, nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. Um, I'm pairing some semi-skimmed milk and hot water with my chocolate. <laughs> then it's a Bourneville cocoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> King Plum and Kit Kat. If I've ever heard of a more diverse pairing than one of the most incredible aged poor teens ever to cross our paths, King, King Plum and oh, Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Going for 20, I like your style. Vodka chocolate, whoa. Uh, can you mix vodka with tea? Yeah, you can. You can infuse tea leaves into vodka. We've done a video about that. Uh, I'm curious check it about out. the King Plum and Kit Kat. Does it work though? Well, he's written it lots of times. King Plum and Kit Kat. King <laughs> Plum and like Kit Kat. It. Does it taste good? Is it good? Is Gone it good? 90% um, dark with Phoenix Dansong. How's that, Mihai? Is that good? The fruity note of the Dansong. So what are we doing now? We're doing duck shit, right? Yeah, duck shit. Oh, yeah. So we're moving on to duck shit, and I don't want to um, take what? too much time because it's already 20 past nine, well, so I'm we may have to wait. cut a tea. I know, well, you know, we need to have five. You need, it's reached All that right. point where Should you I need an assistant. Should I do two teas in one go? I'll yeah. do two teas in one yeah. go. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Double guy one. That, that, uh, uh, I'll do that, this one and this one because that's super different. That turns on my Swiss side that mm. you're doing an efficient <laughs> use of tea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, so. So you prefer this tea now? This chocolate, this is your favourite? Um, when I bit into it, it was like pure speculose. Like, why did it taste like cheese the first time and speculose the second time? Was it because of the tea or the fact that I bit into it? I think as you bit into it, because I got the it. same mm. thing. Super yeah. speculose. Mm. But I prefer the goat's cheese. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you like the fun. But it's got cream. It's nice, it. you can like suck it whilst you just want to like have some savoury, then you bite it when you're ready for that sweet release. Yeah. Sweet release. That, that weird? sounded a bit no, on no, the no. edge. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. What did you say? What did you say though? Chocolate. Suck it when you want. Suck it when you want some like savory, and, and then, then bite, bite it when, when you want, want some sweet, sweet release. So <laughs> poor. <laughs> that was. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm innocent. I just <laughs> talking about chocolate. I know. Yeah, no. Perfectly innocent. Yeah. Thoughts, no yeah. problem at all. <laughs> at all. Yeah. All right, let's have a. Let's... Yeah, I was just waiting for that. Lucy out of control. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is speculus? Speculus is a uh, Dutch. Is it Dutch? I don't biscuit? know. It's like a cinnamon. It's a spiced biscuit. It's delicious. It's like addictive. And yeah. Like, and if you get speculus, oh, like spread. Smell too. that. Smell that. It's been so long since I've had a whiff of duck shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not with superior and goddess, by the way. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. This duck shit. Sorry. Oh my god. Because like I started brewing it and pouring into cups. So it's happening oh. that way. Oh, you can just keep carrying on. It's this. Oh my god, that's so addictive. You're smelling addictive. something completely different. Smell to me. that. Oh, it's been a while since I've had duck shit. Oh, that's exciting. No, we can't get excited about that one. We're Ooh. smelling this. Smell this one now. Smell this one. Get into it. Uh, it's too weird. It's like <laughs> broken my whole... I know, I know. Okay. You did it to break yourself. It, break, okay. it, break, it. Break, break it, break it. Break it. Here, break it with... Timo me. confirms it is a Dutch biscuit. Oh, nice. A Dutch cookie. Oh, thank nice, you. thank so, you. Okay, so let's taste this superior iron goddess. It's very hot. Looking super thick and... and it's like a rave. Luminous green. <laughs> oh. I love that colour. Okay, very cleansing, very mm. floral. It's been so long since I've had oh. okay. TYG. Yeah. Really, yeah. I've been drinking a lot of TYG recently. TGY, you mean? TGY. TGY. It's like so. All that's hot. <laughs> um, so we're getting orchids, honeysuckles. I'm still not getting that little apple candy note towards the end, but I know we will, mm. for sure. Um, apparently I'm having a duck shit orgasm. That's some good shit. <laughs> oh, another moderator just handled this. Apparently, we've got other moderators. Oh, um, as, as soon as that. shit comes up onto the oh, thing, okay. they moderate it. Okay. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> can we put a second infusion of this? A bit stronger, please. Oh, okay. Ooh. So you're just cleansing your palate right now. That's yeah. what's happening. No, I'm going to save a little bit for the for the Vietnam. Okay. Oh, Vietnam. All right, going into Nam. Okay. Wait. What? Am I bringing it? Oh yeah. Okay. Give me, give me. 
bent myself. Mm -mm. Yeah. You don't sound impressed. What are you meowing about? Not satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. That will not do. That will this not. shall not pass. It shall not. Um. Okay. I mean, it's just cleansing. It doesn't really do anything. You know. Silly, like <laughs> it's like those games, isn't it? Like those games, like fill up the water, put on the kettle, put on these. Yeah. More, orders, more, orders. Orders. more orders are coming through. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love those games, though. <laughs> All right, are we tasting a chocolate? Yeah, I did it already. Oh, wow, thank you. It doesn't work with that one, no. in my opinion. Twist me the wrong way. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, that one just keeps on changing. I'm getting. Oh, it's nuts, it's that a though. That's better for me. Oh yeah, that totally doesn't work. That first one doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't at work all. at all. But that mm. works really nicely, I think. It does. Mm. Mm. That does. Yeah, I would say that that's my favourite match so far. Yeah. It's Tia Guan Yin and this Peruvian one. Really floral note coming through here. That's actually quite mad. Yeah, that works. But it's like... It's quite different aftertaste, like, mm. you know, it's not like anything... Mm. Well, the key is with pairing is that you don't want a perfect match. Perfect mm. matches cancel out. Yeah. You, you want, want to have enough match mm. that there's sort of a join, mm. but then enough little... Ooh, yeah. Little tentacles different, on the side. Different flavour coming that through. That are just kind of like broadening it out. Oh, I like it. It's like that revelation when we tasted dill with, in, the, in the dessert. Oh, dill and almond. Dill and dessert. almond. Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah. like that Peru and Tia Yin. Yeah, me too. I love that. Did, did you try this one? Not yet. We ran out of tea. Oh my god. Come on, Celine. Pasta. Wondering Marine veteran. No, we did not think you were trying to self promote. You are sharing the love. Yeah, no. Sharing and we've got to check out, check out your stuff. For Even sure. like put the yeah. swan leg vibe in yeah. there. I dug that. Yeah. You know? yeah. All good. All right, so 61 posts have come in from uh, this May Leaf Sessions. Let's uh, see what we've got here. Oh, that, they've got pretty big Holy stash. Holy hefty. Schmoly. Oh, my gosh. That's a stash oh and a man, that is a beautiful stash right there. Stashmeister General, look at that. <laughs> that <laughs> what is that? They've got. Look at all those cameras. Oh, I approve. I am. I am. Uh, that's tea envy right there. Yeah. Oh, that's sushi liquor. Oh, and it's a little wolfy. Nice. Oh, nice for a Very smooth. nice. Nectarator. We've got a black no. and white toad in a teacup. Yeah. Always the oh. artsy one. We're enjoying May Leaf Sessions 13 because there ain't no party like a May Leaf party. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. Please Get do drink. Gone 420. When are we going to have another rare tea like King Plum? Oh, yeah, man. All we right. This is something there. we need to seriously get into because yeah. I... I'm starting to get a bit annoyed. Yeah, me too. I want to have another King Plum. I want so to taste it again. And I've been tasting aged whites, uh, not aged whites, aged raws. And every time I seem to find one that I like, next time I check, it's sold out. Ah, man. Oh. Gotta catch it. I know. Nuts. Nuts. Who are these people? They're rude. They're so rude. They're rude. That's unacceptable behavior. <laughs> we are searching, I promise you Gone 420, we are searching for some really good aged rules. But as you know, the price is going to be high and therefore we don't want to like, you know, we want it to be seriously spectacular. King yeah. Plum wows us. King ah, Plum. I love that design chocolate. I've yeah. seen that before. I like that design Vietnamese well. chocolate, Maru. Maru. We should, um, That's a lovely, lovely word. Yeah, Maru. Definitely. Oh. Miss Buddha enjoying Gong Fu Cha. I like, I like oh, it's so it nice seeing everyone's good. coziness. You look so looking good. all good. Oh. Oh. Cat's butt Cat over butt. some um, unbelievable cakes just hiding in the corner yeah. over there. I love it. It's like a just casual, cash. casual walk past. Just cash. We've seen that one. So We've cash. seen that one. Oh. Emily 3022 tasting some Lao Shan Green. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. That's look so at, beautiful. Wow. Beautiful nice. hand writing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we love it, but we, we gotta get it. back to the tasting. Here we go. Okay. So last so. one. Break. Break us. Alexander, <laughs> Alois, Roland, thank you so much for your super chat. Oh, wow. You're very, very generous. 
Thanks for your love to, to for True Tea. I'm from Bavaria, but originally from Ceylon. It mm. would be an honor if you can offer a Ceylon tea and don't offer daily drivers. Then you're just like the other True Tea shops. Ah, I like, see, consensus. You guys, yeah. Consensus. <laughs> You see, yeah, it's been all, of the, all of those discussions in the office of, yeah, but yeah. it's not really what we do. And then other people mm. going, yeah, but you've got to allow people to get into true tea. Yeah. I yeah. Appreciate I like it. your all style. All right, so let's do Criollo. You guys. Ooh. Ooh. You know? Weird. Yeah. Weird. I feel like I can taste both separately. Was at the same time. You're falling out of shot. I'm not. Look, Lucy, no, Lucy moves. Somebody writes it. No, 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 oh, Lucy yeah, moves. No, Lucy moves. Move. Thank oh, okay. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely has an uh, interesting interaction, mm. interesting effect, but I don't think it's yummy. No. No. It's just this kind of like, mm, that one's best. Yeah, okay. it's, like, it's like even though you're drinking and like tasting at the same time, they're separate. You know what I mean? It doesn't fit together. So this was the best. Oh, which one was it? No, no it was this middle one. Middle okay. one. Cool. Okay, so next. Oh yeah, duck shit. It. Oh, this, this is the one you've been waiting yeah, for. Yeah, it's right? the one I've been waiting for. Can you get the peanut? Of course. Okay. I don't. I think I rinsed it already though. But, but I gave it. I gave, gave it to these guys. Gave it some Why are you so attached to the peanut? I don't know because it's just so useless and I like it. <laughs> it's just a peanut. You know. <laughs> Uh, so oh, I suddenly mm. feel for the peanut, but now I feel for the piggy as well. There Timo is asking, Labanjang is charging for visits now. I remember when we were there last time, they were setting up that charging yeah. station. Yeah. And uh, they're asking, um, what are thoughts on charging for Labanjang? You know what? If it was, if it would actually mean that less people go, then it would be a good thing. Right. But it's not. Right. And so it's just a money making exercise. True. So Yeah. Sure, fine, make the money, but it would be better, I think, if they would be be more restrictive about how many people because it's starting to feel a bit ridiculous. It's there. like it feels a bit too uh, probably now more than when we were there. It's probably like a tourist yeah. attraction. Anna Litwiller, thank you so much for your super chat. I've been an avid tea drinker for seven years and when I found out found your YouTube channel a couple of months ago, I finally felt like I found a tea community. Everybody out there, say hello to Anna. New hello. to the crew, hello. new to new to the to the new, community. New. Welcome, Such Anna. Welcome. You are most welcome, and you will find you are surrounded by the best of people. Okay. Safety face. Safety face. Ah. Ooh, a little lychee note coming through. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mmm. Yeah, it is almonds, light cheese, almonds. Yeah, um, that frangipan creaminess is still there. There's a bit of orchid note in there as mm. well. Light, obviously lighter than Sichuan Really nice. I don't think it's going to work with this, but let's just try it. Let's eat some chocolate anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you gave me the big piece. <laughs> Friendship. Friendship right there. <laughs> I tell a lie. Yeah. Hang on. I'm Actually, I tell a lie. But so far. I think it brings out a real almondy note to the to the to the to the, to the tea chocolate combo in my mouth. I actually think that works really well. I think well. that works surprisingly well. It's like um it's like a almond tart with like some jam in it or something. Yeah, it's Even like the, the cherry note in that starts to pop out a bit more with mm. the almond. You get that sort of Bakewell cherry and oh, almond. Yeah, even more. So Bakewell. So Bakewell yeah. tart, isn't it? That I really like. Yeah. Vietnam and duck shit win. That feels like a nice pairing. I feel happy for the Vietnam chocolate now. Well, you thought it wasn't getting a love. Yeah. Uh, you know. So Kenpa is doing real Criollo with young gushu, increases the sweetness and brings up nuts into the flavor. Interesting. Ooh, Claire nuts. Stitching Corner just shows a peanut logo. So does <laughs> Contesame, everyone's getting into the peanut. Oh yeah. Nice. Ruben, you converted your mother to tea. Wow, well Congratulations. done. Congratulations. Ruben's collection, I have seen your collection, Ruben. What is it like? Nuts. <laughs> nuts. Ruben. Nuts, nuts, has nuts. Has the addiction of teacups to you. Ruben. 
I have to say. I feel you. <laughs> like, I, when I saw Ruben's collection, I was like, whoa. What was this? You have enough tea to like, I think we calculated it. If he, oh, I think we calculated it. If he drank one cup of tea or one gong fu tea every day, he had enough for about 70 years. <laughs> what? No, it's That's nuts insane. how much. It's no. nuts. It's totally insane. <laughs> Ruben, you know. You know I'm telling the truth, Ruben. I hope I'm not calling you out, but you've got some wow. serious tea. Respect. It's, it's, it's all coming you know. from respect. Proper respect. I'm just going to get more water. You do that. Water. Oh, it's more uh, duck shit here? More duck shit. Okay, yes. let's drink this. And taste this. You guys better get ready after this. We're doing the giveaway of the chocolate and then your quiz. So get your game faces on. It's so cheesy whenever it just gets me every time. Cheese fest. Mm. I think that works quite well as well. Yeah. It may be just a universal thing. Dutch I shit. actually really like one. this one. Yeah. Because there's nothing wrong with like goat's cheese and cherries, know. you know? Beautiful actually. Very, very nice as well. Mmm. I like it. Oh. That's the one you thought was gross. Before. That one more kind of um, American style cheesecake with the tea. Oh, yeah, exactly. It creamed it out of it. Mm. Mm. Creamed it, creamed it out creamed of it. it <laughs> okay, last one. And then oh, yeah. I think we're going to have to miss one of these teas because we can't do them quick enough. Okay. Unfortunately. No! Yeah, I think we just got to go straight to the, uh, no. to the Nectar Raider. Oh, oh, what was the other one? Ember Gamma! Oh, well. Oh, no! Shivers. Too late. <laughs> Don't Too say that. Too late. Too late. Claire, you definitely need to try duck shit. It is a winner. It is a pricey tea, but it's a, it's a pleasant tea and it's a... It's your sort of special occasion tea. I love the way you're showing it. <laughs> By bringing out the Ambergata, <laughs> therefore you have to brew it. Is that what you've just done? Yes. Okay, well, you're going to be quicker than that. All right, here. Okay, Excellent. so last one, Criollo. Criollo. That's a chalky. Ruben, the tea is my pension. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Mm. The problem with the Criollo is it's so powerful. It doesn't work actually. It just one. kicks everyone, kicks the ass out of every other thing <laughs> you put in your mouth. Yeah. It's like, I don't need anything else, thank you. I would Leave say no me to alone. That. Leave me alone. I'm I would say no it. to that one. No, it doesn't work. I really right, got two more. I liked that, that combo. Okay. Here, you can uh, put some more in there. Okay. Put some more in that one. Okay, so while, while this is brewing, why don't we do some q and I mm -hmm. think that's probably a wise thing to do. No, I'm uh, ready. I'm ready, guys. Yeah, but you know, we'll still do some Q&A. Okay. Um, Mr. Watermelon <laughs> says... <laughs> I like that. Hooray, Next excited name. to tune in for the first time. What are your thoughts on mushroom teas? Ah, I live in Australia and the powdered version varieties have become very popular in recent years. Reishi, Chaga, Lion's Mane, etc. Mm. Medicinal mushrooms are... Incredible, incredible herbs. Um, can you call them herbs? Yeah, yeah. Might, you can still call them herbs. Incredible. They all have such incredible properties. Reishi, yeah. also in, known as Lingzhi, is amazing. Um, has so many properties. Uh, another adaptogen. So it reacts to your body um, and adapts to your needs. It's an incredible one. Lion's mane is really fascinating. Lion's mane is one that really um, helps in terms of actual... Um, helping to regenerate neurons or protect oh. neurons in the brain. I think I know Lion's that. mane. No. Yeah, lion's mane has, is, is very red. I think you find um, uh, such a powerful protector. And I think I'm right in saying that also helps to regenerate neurons. Um, mm. Lion's mane. Nice. So, um, yeah, I mean, they don't taste great. <laughs> but, you know, they are very, very good for you. Um, one more question. Um, let me see. This one may not be pertinent to Saturday. This is Albert Faz. It's a two-part question. From your knowledge of Japanese tea ceremonies, do you think Buddhist ideals are just as present in Japan as China? Um, I really am not qualified to say. Uh, I, I have not spent enough time, um, you know, in 
Japanese tea ceremony circles. Um, I've spent lots of time with the farmers, but not so much in, in those circles to be able to answer that with any kind of confidence. Second part of the question, in China and outside of temples, to what extent is tea connected with cultural and religious ideals? Mm. Interesting, like because when you go to China and you drink tea, most of the farmers and the sellers, they'll never sort of bring out anything to do with the spirituality of tea. Right. Until you get to know them. Mm, right. And that's what I found. Mm. Then suddenly you get to know them and they feel a bit more comfortable with you. Then you see this, some people do. They start yeah. to talk about the importance of tea to them spiritually. Right. Don't they? And they talk yeah. about impermanence and they talk about... That's true, They yeah. talk about, you know, the... the the way that tea kind of reminds them of, of things in life and, yeah you know why do you think that is though why don't they just start with that <clears throat> i think, think in china i think it is true to say in china you know sort of discussing spirituality and, and religion is still sort of a little bit of a sort of you know a, a fringe topic mm. you're not going to talk about that right. you may have a sort of guan yin your statue sure. somewhere and that's you know but yeah. actually really kind of discussing it is something that i found anyway in my experience doesn't really happen until you start to really get to know the people. Right. You know, and then suddenly they'll they'll talk they'll in a up. different way or they'll start I to guess open it makes up sense. in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions from you guys out mm. there? Uh, Ruben says mushrooms can mess with medications. Yeah, always check in terms of med medical interactions mm. for sure. Um, Nephil Nephilim Research says, yeah, I take lion's mane and turkey tail and cordyceps. Mm. Cordyceps is pricey. <laughs> if you've got some good cordyceps, it's pricey stuff for sure. Um, but it's also really, really good. Um, my mother has some cordyceps in her fridge, Ooh. like real, like the, the raw herb, which oh, no looks way. like kind of a caterpillar fungus. And it's like... Do you have to like chop it up? Just chop it up and put it in tea, but it's super expensive. How do you measure the amount of tea you use if you don't have a scale? You can just eyeball it a lot of the time. Um, and you, but it's obviously good to get a scale so that you can sort of practice knowing what five grams of, because five grams of a of, of an oolong is going to look totally, totally different to different. five grams of a raw pu'er and totally different to five grams of a silver needle. Yeah. So yeah. ideally, you do that. Um, really? Charles says, that, "What DJs do you like?" <laughs> I intend to pick that one out because <laughs> Lucy's currently on a techno binge. <laughs> yeah. I am. I am. R Lucy I only am. recently discovered Richie Horton. <laughs> I know, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> so she's like become obsessed them. with Richie Horton. Yes. <laughs> it's true, uh, it's yeah. true, it's true. Southeastern Hero, techie question. What streaming software are you using? OBS, indeed, we are using OBS. Um, da, 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 da. Matthew, have you ever considered doing a tea subscription service with single Gong Fu samples to allow people to try lots of different teas? We used to do that. Uh, we had boxes with um, individual teas in them. Um, and um, so we sometimes do these sets. But a subscription service, I found we've thought about it a lot. We've thought about it a lot. And I found that there's too much risk that what we will end up doing is just saying, what tea, what tea do we have much, too much of? You know what I mean? Because if you're going to curate... Uh, subscription box. Oh yes. Then you need to buy in, and let, if you want to make it an exclusive tea, of mm. course, right? Because you want the subscription to be exclusive, mm. within reason. There's some maybe like some mainly for range, but you want something that's special. Right. And if you're going to do that, then you need to buy that tea and specifically for that box. Right. And guessing the right number oh. is going to be so difficult to do that I think that it's inevitable that it's going to end up that it's going to be that you're kind of not following your vision mm. and just sort of going, oh, well, we've got some of this yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I want the, if we do subscription box, I want them to be really properly curated yeah. subscription boxes. So we are thinking about it, but it's more about logistics that's the issue there. All right. Cheers. Ah. As soon as I smelt this, cooler, like I just felt safe. Mm. You know, all of a sudden safe I felt safe. Nectar Raider is in the house. Mm. Nectar Raider. And whenever I hear Nectar Raider, I just hear that song. You know? Which one? What song? I know they're not saying Nectar Raider, but Which it sounds one? like Call and Nectar Raider. <laughs> Call and Nectar <laughs> 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 Where's Dank the Dog? asked Christian. Okay, so let's let's have some of this. Oh yeah, Dank the Dog. Oh, you have an dog. eyelash on your nose. Me? Yeah. Sorted. Sorted. Cheers. 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 
Ooh, weird. Mm. Really weird. Makes it taste like star anise. God, those chocolates are so yummy. <laughs> chocolates are great. You guys who win this are in for a treat. Man. <clears throat> weird. Definitely yeah, odd. 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 Mm -hmm. That's odd ski. Oh yeah, that doesn't work together. It's like wood, like aniseed. It makes it, it makes the chocolate really dry. Yeah. That you know bit strange. Okay, Big Did would like a subscription box. Um, I saw Petra, I think, wanted a subscription box. I, we will be trying to do some things. Um, okay. Go for it. Let's, okay. let's try and do this quickly. All right. Go shoes. Oh, I love poor tea. It's so good now. Mm. Works better. Mm. What works better about that one? <laughs> so cheesy. I, whenever I have it, I'm sorry, I can't say it. It's, it's quite funny. shocking, isn't it? It's quite shocking, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. For me, the Criollo actually has found something that, that works with it. I feel like this one and this one makes this chocolate taste like the chocolate mousse mm. more than a cheesecake. Yeah. So I would I say it does, like it's it. quite nice. It's quite nice. It's not obvious, like it's not an obvious tasting, but I think it works. Okay, let's go amber. Sorry. Oh, is, that, is that still nectarator? Mm. You need a bit more. All right, so Criollo nectarator. Okay. Let's do this. Which tea does Michigan prefer? Oh! That's by myself as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was be well. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Ah. <laughs> that was <nice. laughs> Literally the moment you went, oh, I landed in my mouth. I was like, yeah. Sorry. All right. Amber Gabba. Bruin. I, I I think I think that I think that the nectar works well with Peru. I don't think okay. on second taste that Criollo again dominates it. Yeah. Warning, warning, warning. What? Just as a warning, like I am getting tea drunk. I feel like a pilot <laughs> has like let go of the, the warning. Wheel. Warning. This it's like this. Like, I feel, I'm feeling a bit like this. It's like okay. Do you think the jade star hit you? I feel now? a little bit out of control. Like the the, the nectarator. Yeah. Got to you. I'm sure you can handle it. Let's get it's some gas. It's, it's it would be really funny if I had to like do something hard right now, like uh, after this live. <laughs> yeah. Like a competition. <laughs> Rants about That's says really Lucy, sick. are you tea drunk? Yes. <laughs> there's a, there's a delay <laughs> so I think he knew it before I did. Like I had to, I took a moment to like reflect, and I was like, I think I'm losing control of my brain right oh, now. No. It's just going. Okay, let's do this. All right, be careful, pop. Okay. Okay, Cheers. last one, people, and then we're gonna give these away. Ah, oh, my God, it's so good. Amber hug. Amber hug. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Amber hug. Yeah, it's good. That's how it feels. That works. I mm. bet Amber is going to work with all of them. Oh my god, I just saw the time. Yeah. Okay. We're going to move. What I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So Amber got really fruity. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. <laughs> it's got a nuttiness. It's like prunes. With this one. It doesn't do anything. It actually separates everything out, personally, I think, because of that fruity note. This one. You guys gotta talk as well, otherwise how are the guys gonna know what we're tasting? Okay. I'm, just, I'm just, um... You decogitating. Decogitating right Is that now. a word? Yeah, well, that word no, sounds like not. how I feel. I don't know what it means, but it feels right. Decogitate. Don made it up. I did make that Decogitating. Yeah. Yeah. It works though. Cogitate is a word, isn't it? I don't know what cogitate mean. To think about something? Oh no, I thought decogitate meant like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> are you still on earth? Okay, so, <laughs> conclusions. Two, wait, these two makes it more caramelly. Which one? This one, this one. Amber Gabba and this chocolate. It works yeah. quite well. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't um, comprehend. Last one. Oh, actually, oh. I can't okay. work that one out. Okay, so this out. is it. This is I'm going to take executive decision. These are the prizes that we're going to give away. Okay. We're going to give away the Vietnamese chocolate, and we're going to be giving it to you with Bulang. We're going to be giving you the Peruvian chocolate, and we're going to be giving it to you with duck shit. Yeah, that was mm. my favorite one, I think. We're going to do Mexico chocolate, 
and I'm going to give it to you with amber. Even though I don't think it was the best combination, but you've got Boulang as well, so you could try it with it. So, everybody out there. Oh. <laughs> what a horrible noise that just came out of this. Oh. Sorry. Celine, oh. what's the word that they have to type? Uh, get creative. No, no, no. Oh, get creative. Like, no, get creative. No. Um, Random. Random. Uh, soup. <laughs> Soup. That's random, I like it. <laughs> soup. Okay, soup. The people are writing bumbler. I don't no, know no, why everyone's no, no, writing no. bumbler. Soupkins. Okay, so. <laughs> why is everybody writing bumbler? Is there another feed going on? Is there on like somewhere? a secret thing that we don't know that about? We don't, is somebody else saying to everyone to write bumbler? Guys, stop. Why is everybody writing What's bumbler? Happening? What's going on? Did we say you something? are messing with us. No, it's soup, guys. It's soup. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, soup. Morning. Okay, right. Just, just roll this thing. Do it. I, I don't like This is making my um, OCD like a bit. <laughs> Go. Me mental. I can't do okay. that. Okay. So. Done. Sorry. No. Hey. Why did everyone start writing Bumbler? Okay. Here we go. Hello. Cray cray. Ken plus sixty four. Double win. Zach M. Silver Ogre. Billy D's Song Tay. Go. One, four. two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The Silver Ogre, write oh, to us. The Silver Ogre. Keep them coming. So if you win, then write to us through our website. Tell us your YouTube name. Tell us what you won and give us your name and address. <laughs> Someone What's wrote, going on? What's going on? <laughs> Why is everybody writing soup? <laughs> Gala, Miranda, Mind Plays, Claire Stitching Corner, Dacron and Graphic Theory. Roll Gra it. Okay. Graphic Theory. Six. six. What was six? I can't remember. Uh, uh, He's ended up with graphic, graphic theory. Graphic, graphic theory, theory. The art central. Please write to us. You are going to get chocolate and tea. There you Ooh. go. Courtesy of Anna Ducasse. Ducasse. Okay. Now competition time, people. The competition doesn't stop. We want you, while we continue to eat chocolate and drink tea in a bit more of a calm environment. Yeah. We're going to give you some questions. These questions are going to be on Twitter if you want to take part on Twitter, but you don't have to. You can also just write answers in the chat room. However, if you're on Twitter, they will be counted, okay? Because that's the only way we can count it. I'm not trying to drive you all to go to Twitter, but we need to see if you have won the, um, if you have gotten the right answer. You can Me. stop writing Bumbler Soup. <laughs> Bumbler soup! You can soup. stop writing soup, people. Ah, okay. Would you like to try bumbler soup? Bumbler soup. I would love to try. I that would is like. Bumbler I would soup. like a giant bowl of bumbler soup. Yeah. How good would that be if that bumbler was on the menu? Soup. Yeah, bumbler it's soup. Like, the know, most. And it arrives, and it's just like, <laughs> what is it? It's it's a herbal it's, concoction. Of no, it's just perfectly clear, perfectly pale, and you think this can't taste of anything. Yeah. Ooh. And when you drink it, it just tastes of it's tranquility. Like, <laughs> tranquility. What tranquility? Wow. That sounds really. I think cool. like. Could be good. Could be good. That's amazing. I almost got stuck there. Uh, I'm just going to get more water. Once okay, you do the... right. So <laughs> if you want to join on Twitter, you can. I will show you what's happening on Twitter here. Twitter. And I will post the first question. And the first question is up. The question is, which type of tea is especially associated with fooding in Fujian, China? Green, oolong, or white? Green, oolong, or white. So, please do vote oh. on Twitter. And uh, for every question that you get right, we will do a giveaway of a tea. If you get questions wrong as a sort of community, then we will roll that prize on to the next prize giving. Ooh. Okay? So that's the way we're going to play this. Um, currently, we've had a few votes. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> it disappeared. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no, it's disappearing. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. Tweets. There you go. Ooh, white. It's currently got 26 votes. 92% say white, 4% oolong, 4% green. Let's look at what's happening in the chat room. White, white, oolong, oolong, white, 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 okay, white, 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 and wheat. <laughs> Repeat the question, says Ruben. Okay, which type of tea is especially associated with fuding in Fujian in China? Green, oolong, or white? 
while they're doing that, let's just... Uh, oh, what happened? Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, suddenly we only have three votes. And it says one minute ago, which is definitely not mm, It's not true. Not we will uh, see what's happening here. Mmm, Amber Gabba. Love a mm. bit of Amber Gabba. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Yep. Ooh. This is. Let's answer another question while they're doing that. Um, crack my back. Do you want to crack your back? Yeah, just you can did. Go and did, do you, did you do it? Just did. Just Theo just says, I will definitely be there on Saturday. Welcome, Theo. You did a nice video about okay. Tia Guan Yin learning Tia Guan Yin. Yes, I remember it. Do you plan to do a similar one about Wu Yi teas? Wu Yi teas are incredible in my opinion. Agreed, Wu Yi teas are incredible. We do love them. There is a slight issue with Wu Yi and filming at the moment. Um, they... They banned. <laughs> they, well, apparently some the British, British people picked some leaves from a very old plant. And you they banned British. Not you. Not me. <laughs> yeah. It was not. Was it you? <laughs> But yeah, apparently so. Really? So they yeah. banned all British people? Oh yeah, I'm sure that that's not, I'm sure that we can bypass it, but apparently it's a bit dodgy going there and trying to do the filming. Basically don't say you're British. But I'm sure it's fine, yeah. I'm sure it's fine. We can, we can get past that. Just have to... They're alright with the French, aren't they? Like maybe you could like Mission Impossible. Like yeah. <laughs> Dro drone like drop, down. drone yeah. drop in, just quick just gorilla shoot yeah. out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, so, Lunch. here we go. Let's see, we've had, um, We've had 69 votes, so we are calling it. 93% of you are correct. It mm. is white tea, so we are going to be Blanca. giving away a... Let's do three samples of Silver Needle. Ooh, yeah? lovely. I better write that down since I just made that up. Wait, which Silver Needle? We've got two. Ooh. Yunnan. Why do you, why do you play it like that? <laughs> <laughs> now I have to give away some fooding. Why'd you play me like that? I didn't. What? Oh, okay. No. So we're gonna give away two of the Yunnan and one of the fooding. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So. Go undercover, Robert Fortune style. Yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna wear the, wear the Chinese. So I can just do some do some uh, makeup on. Put some makeup on. Oh, I've lost my pen. Um, okay, so type in fuding, F-U-D-I-N-G, F-U-D-I-N-G, we're only going to pick one winner of this, and then we're going to move on to the next question, I can't which I'm going to post now. I can't find my dice. dice. So the next question, okay. before we uh, choose a winner, is... What do I do with this? Question number two, which process does not apply to raw, poor productions? Oh, Which yeah. process does not apply to raw, poor productions? Rolling, heating, or wet piling? You know the answer, right? right Which process does not apply to raw, poor productions? Don't say the answer. Rolling, heating, yeah. or wet piling. Okay, I'm going to okay. do this. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so we have got <laughs> Alexandra Verville Paris. I love saying that. <laughs> Oli Dunlop, Andre Sylvia Sontu, Tobias Wicklund. Victoria Jesswine and Spencer Kerr. Roll that dice. I'm Rolling. confused. Oh, that's the first question. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, if you're confused, then you <laughs> Four. Four. Tobias Wick Wicklund. To Tobias Wicklund. Tobias. All right. So, Could be Tobias. I mean, have you never seen Divergent? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be Tessie. Yeah. Don't be Tessie. Tessie. Don't Tessie, Lucy. Okay. So, <laughs> is that silver needle on you, Nan? Silver needle, yeah. I've written it down here. What we're gonna have? Wow, to get. Are you guys like, oh, like heat it up. Yeah, for we're tea. heating up. I might have to, wow. I might have to reveal, what? reveal, <laughs> reveal your shirt. <laughs> I know you're like reveal my. I'm uh, like, uh, yeah, hyped. I'm boiling for sure. I feel like okay, I did. okay. So, the question: Which process does not apply to raw Shang Pua productions? We've already got 41 <laughs> votes in. Wow. People, you guys are rocking it. We've got 300 people watching us. Bam! Tea head community in force. 41 votes. Currently, wet piling is in the lead. You can stop writing fooding. We only did one giveaway for each one of these. You're going to have a chance to win plenty more. So, fooding, fooding, fooding. Can we start calling the tea community TC? 
Like if you're part of TC, <laughs> you don't like that, do you? You can, I don't know. Does it, I'm always worried that there's some other You say, is group. he TC? And you're like, yeah, he's TC. Is he TC? Yeah, You don't with TC? Yeah. You yeah, know. he's T community. Maybe you can see OG, OGTC. OGTC. OGTC, OGTC. OGTC, OGTC. Right, so um, we are going to um, now just quickly check what's happening on Instagram while you have a chance to... Do all nice. that. Let's quickly refresh this page. That's like a f beautiful frozen. Ooh, what's happening here? Oh, it's Kahlua. Kahlua. Ooh. Chocolate and May Leaf Sessions. My head looks massive in that. <laughs> it's a big TV. <laughs> it's a big T head. It's a big T head. I've seen that one already. I've seen that one already. Uh, seen that one already. Oh. oh, this is J. Scott P. Yes. Nice. That's an interesting little setup you've yeah. got going on there. Is that a basket? That's I like the sticker on the, uh, on the thermos you got oh, yes. going on there. That's badass. Oh, oh compost roses. Look at beautiful. that. Beautiful. Smoked tea on that. that is that a tile? Beautiful. It looks like beautiful, beautiful. Tile. It's a beautiful tile. I peacock. love tiles. So ritual. Definitely gets oh. a like there. Guys, follow people on, on uh, you know, this is a great way to find the people on the... Uh, yeah. <coughs> Instagram. In the session. Mm. Ooh, oh, check this stink that's tea beautiful. one. That's beautiful. That's art. That's nice. very nice. Some golden bud. Oh, oh look at that. Golden bud. Beautiful. Steepy. Toffee fragrance, smooth malt, and subtle pepper and cocoa make this perfect pen with 85% dark chocolate. Ooh. There you go. You did a much better job than us. Do you want to come <laughs> yeah. and join us here? All yeah. right, let's can take a look at what's happening over here. 78 votes in. Oh, this is the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Here it is. 68 votes in, and the correct answer is wet piling. So you are correct. Well done, guys. So, team effort. What do they have to type in? <laughs> oh, my turn again. Um, Don't have to go so random. Oh, okay. White rose. <laughs> White rose. Seriously. <laughs> Why Why'd you get them to write such long things? Oh, it's just, raw. It's okay. Raw. okay. Raw. Okay, fine. Raw. 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 Raw or white yeah. rose. Raw or white rose. Whatever you feel like. Whatever you feel like. Just write whatever you want. Do you have fast typos or white rose? or white rose? <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. So that's, uh, what are we giving away for that? We'll give away a taster of, a couple of tasters of, uh, uh, one we did, one Nectarada, one Night Forest Muse. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. One really Nectarada, nice. one Night Forest Muse. Okay. Cool. Remembering that, spin it. We're doing one giveaway here, and then we're moving on to the next one. Oopsies, sorry. Oh yeah. Yes. And we've got Alexan, Alex Valdez, Robert Kochis, Wandering Marine Veteran, Sarah Berner, Jessica Jesswine, uh, Victoria Jesswine, and Steve Chavelli. Chevali, Chevali. Oh, I did it. Okay, Three. there you go. <laughs> Wandering Marine Veteran, congratulations. Yay! That super chat paid off. Yeah. Here you go, you're going to win. Uh, make sure you write to us. All right, next question, people. Marine. Here's this one here. Which of these is not like the other? Which of these is not... <laughs> some random person as well, just showing your face. <laughs> Which of these is not a green tea? Longjing, Hoji Cha, Chi Dan. Longjing, Hoji Cha, Chi Dan. You can write it in the comments section as well. Celine, yeah? do you want to start to get the poor ready? Yeah. Because we are seriously behind schedule. Okay. On it. Do we... Thank you. Is it time to twist? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> not not yet, not okay. yet, not yet, not yet. So that's the question three. You know what? I'm going to jump into question four so that you all have a chance. Sorry, move out my way. <sighs> Question four is, which of these pickings is standard for oolong tea? I, which of these pickings is standard for oolong tea? That's no, question have to do four. It. Don't have to do it. And your last question is, <laughs> black tea it's okay, it's okay. I'll wait. I'll is the wait. oldest type of tr tea, true or false? So you've got three questions to answer. We're going to be doing giveaways for all of them. Just to remind you, which of these is not a green tea? Longjing, Hoji Cha, or Chi Dan? Then you've got which of these pickings is standard for oolong tea? And then you've got black tea is the oldest type of tea. And I did a typo here, but anyway, black tea is the oldest type of tea. 
true or false and anonymous south anonymous says hi youtube there you <laughs> hi, go anonymous. <laughs> so we are which one are we doing now in terms of the test yeah uh, I couldn't it's get the there. um green tea one you're gonna uh, do yeah. the challenge for me you're gonna do are we doing the challenge whilst this is happening you're gonna set it up at least oh the show i just can't reach your okay. sign as you can see okay here you go thank you so much okay. we'll talk about the teas a bit afterwards. okay I've got too many pets here now. <laughs> okay, but don't open the teas yet, because yeah. I don't want to see them. Peanut. Peanut can comes stay. in handy, it's just a little thing. Yeah. Okay, so let's... True. You can hold on to these, please. Oops. Please so hold on to these. Yep, yep. Holding, holding. Okay. Let's see. Anything on... Okay. Anything happening on Insta? Let's check. Uh, see this one, seen that one. Well, go Fire Phoenix, did we see this one? No. Garden tea time. Hitting that nice dark tea. We've got double screen action going Ooh. on with Anne the tea head. Nice. <laughs> Just like in case style, you wanna I can't get over this cat's ass. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see how you guys are doing. 69 votes in, that will count it. May leave sessions, question three. Which of these is not green tea? Longjing is a green tea. Hoji chart is a roasted green tea but Chi Dan is normally made into an oolong, AKA Da Hong Pao, so you are correct. So you just have to write so in Chi. I'm gonna make it super easy. QI, chi. QI, type in Chi and we will give away some Longjing and some Hoji Cha. Alrighty. Chi, that's beautiful. Tell me when to roll. I mean, so they've got to write Chi, QI, and you can win Either, uh, both uh, some tasters of Longjing and Hojicha. You're <laughs> very quick there. Okay. Here we go. Right, we've got Vasco Teixeira, Rants About, Anna Litvilla, Martin Hughes, Steve Chevalli, and Christian. Si. Nonchalant. Christian. Christian, Christian, please write to us. Let's move on to the next question. You guys, oh, this one's close. I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, ooh, sick. it's close, this <laughs> one. Really Who knows? <laughs> oh. oh, I knew this was gonna be the most challenging one. What should we give away for this? We should give away, I think we should give away some Eastern beauty for this oh. one. Just because it's a challenging Angel's one. Angel's body odor. Angel's body odor. Hitting your nostrils. Eastern beauty yeah. is what we're giving away for this one. Okay. So, wow. wait, 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 we're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait, just because there's a few... That is, I think, I think it should be called like Angel's B.O. I think you should write B.O. Okay, all right, we're going to call it 75 votes in, 50% of you are correct. Medium leaves with no bud, well done, well done, that was a challenging question. So what you guys need to write is B.O. as in body odor. <laughs> yeah. B.O. B.O. If you write bo, bo. Bo -bo. <laughs> <laughs> is that just a British thing? I feel, I don't, I think, so. I've only seen it in is, is that just a British thing? For all you US people out there. Do you ever say Do you that? ever say, Bo! <laughs> <laughs> bo, bo! Um, I think it might be a British thing. I'd like to know. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. It's good for putting that question out then. No buds, my dudes. Okay, no. go! Just like... Select her. Okay, we've got Carlin Peters. We've got McCrib, Mr. McCrib. We've got Sarah A.K. Dennis Bergman, Cam for 69, Petra Anderson. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's six. Go for it. Three. That is Sarah A.K. Hey. Sarah A.K. Okay, final hey. question. Congrats. Final question. Black tea is the oldest type of tea, true or false, too easy. 72 votes, 92% have got the right answer. It is false. Oh. It is not the oldest type of tea. In fact, it is probably one of the newest types of tea out there. So what they need to, to write is? Uh, they need to write space. Space. As right. in outer space. As in how you're feeling a bit now. <laughs> Spaced. 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 Okay, so space. space. Write space and we're going to do our final giveaway um, of yeah. this set of this little round and then we're going to be giving away some of these suckers here. 
Mine's mine. Uh, it's here. <laughs> I actually feel a little bit cray, guys. It's, it's a bit oh, nuts. It's like yeah. every time we do these I feel things. A little bit cray. <laughs> yeah, every Jeremy's time. like, Bo is a London thing. Okay, okay so okay. it's a Lon London Thanks, ting. Jeremy. London ting. London ting. It's <laughs> a London ting. Okay, spaced out, Lucy, go. Ah, oh, I just wanted to stay in the it middle. Was a knocker. So quick time. Quick season. Aiden, Carlin Peters, Victoria Jesswine. I feel sorry for her. She always gets in there, but doesn't quite win it. Shimmering, 2009, Kenpa and Eduardo. De La Cruz. De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Oh, De La Cruz. Oh, de Go. La Cruz. Wow. Oh. Aiden. 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 Okay, congratulations to Aiden. Congrats. Right, now what we're going to do is we are going to move on to my challenge of the evening. What do they win? Sorry. Oh, sorry. What do they win? What do you what, what do you, you want? Aiden win? What do you want? Aiden. No, what do you Just want? what you want. You feel That's like... mad. What are you doing? Choose a tea, Aiden. Choose a tea. <laughs> we'll give you tasters of what you want. That's that's kind of unfair. Wow. Man. You can't decide. <laughs> just, I can imagine one. Aiden going. Uh, um, um, uh, let me just look at the uh, website. Go to <laughs> yeah. What's the most expensive tea on Mailey.com? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, if you can't decide, I'm Oops. sure some of you, some of your your colleagues out there will choose we'll for you. you yeah. All right. So oh, now what no. we're going to do? Sorry, my it deleted my. Did you do you have all the Eastern Beauty names people's? No, have... it's fine. I can look back. Don't um, worry. Write to us, and we will do this. Um, we will uh, give you your. Teas, but make sure you write Sarah to us a. through a. our website. Yeah, I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> no, we're not giving away Gen Shui pots. Hello? <laughs> tea, tea, tea people, tea. <laughs> okay, so now the challenge for me. Let's uh, let's just Yeah, we've like, got I to just regroup. Need to, like regroup for Gotta regroup. Alright, this is the final challenge for me. Like, and the, like the challenge is yeah. we have got these raw puas here. This comes from a set that was a part of a conference in Pua. So imagine going to a Gushu conference and they, um, they released this um, sort of gift box. Well, you had to pay for it and it was expensive. Mm -hmm. um, gift box with um, Gushus from all the different mountains, from 12 different mountains. So we've picked out um, three. Selena's picked out three. One of them is from Jingmai. The other is from Jinggu. And we've got her guy. And she would like to see whether or not I can figure out which one's which, which That's I so think hard, man. is going to be very, very difficult. So, have you got your got self ready? ready? You know what tea wear you're using, yes. you know everything you're doing. Yeah? Yes. Because um, I don't want to look at these leaves because yeah. I want to be able to look at them afterwards. So, I don't want to compare it to the pack. Are you, are you playing with me? I, ooh, or are you going to be, be on that side or are you going to be on my side? Who's <laughs> that? How, how horrible. How horrible. <laughs> that is really sick. Um, I am curious to try this tea, so I like okay, tea. Okay, I just be, saw the colour of that sticker. What? I yeah, saw but it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going to mix them around. Right, just like, I'm going to mix them around. Make sure you mix that around because I'm okay. trying to. But I don't know how useful I will be, but I will join in. Okay. You're going to join in? Join okay, in. so shut your eyes. Are you? Tell me when you're ready. Okay, you ready? shut your eyes. Shut, you know what you're doing. Your okay, go. Shut, shut. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Okay. So. So um. How's it going, so Liz? How's it going? Okay. Are you ready to drink some gushu? I um, I'm a little bit scared to be honest. Just no less I'm, like, than three. I'm so tea drunk already. Oh my god, these bags. You know? <laughs> like I feel like I'm steaming and cooling down at the same time. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, god, you're making your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Are they hard yeah. to open those bags? They're not that fun. I mean, I like the packaging. I like the kind of papery thing, but it's not. So, so this simple. gift box, I'm not looking, but I'm just going to kind of like, because I feel a bit weird. <laughs> um, this gift box is, um, has 12 mountains um, and the teas are all pretty good. Not amazing, but they're pretty good. I haven't tried all of them yet. I've been doing some tastings live on Instagram every now and again. For those of you who joined me on Instagram, you know what that box looks like. And Celine thought, would I be able to... And I'm telling you people out there, I, I have very low expectations. Why? <laughs> um, Especially because you haven't because tried it. I haven't tried... I, I think I tried the Jingmai once, but this was on okay. Instagram Live about a year ago. So I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this, but anyway. 
Okay. Let's so, see. Um, it's fun anyway. And a uh, key thing here, Lucy, is don't yes. look underneath the guy one because okay. there's colours there, right? Okay. Are we ready? One sec, I'm just rinsing. Oh, you don't need to rinse. I wanted to see the leaves. Oh, no. Now you've taken away vital, <laughs> Sorry, vital information. Hurry. Listen, you're telling me to hurry up. I'm going to hurry up. Yeah, but now, like, now I have an excuse. <laughs> It's got a hand. Can I look now? Yeah, all right. Yeah, are the packets the packets are not next to the, the packets are away, yeah? Yeah. The packet no, the packets are in front of you but they're empty. Yeah, yeah but they they're not they're, they're no mixed up. they're, they're no, not okay, in order. Right, so let's yeah. just put that away. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Okay, so let's do this. Do you want to smell Lucy. the leaves? Yeah, we're going to do this one at a time and we're not allowed to lift up the um no, yeah. just just Stay okay, with me. Stay, stay, stay with stay, me. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't bring it to the camera because if I do, I'll see the color. Right? Nephilim Research, thank you for your 20 oh, week in Corona. You. Love and light to you, Love sir. Love and light to you. Or madam. Okay. I wish I could. Ooh, wow. I can't even remember which one. That ones smells I like dates and figs. That smells super good. So datey. So datey. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't, oh, I need, be careful. I'm going to see oh. the sticker. I'm a cheat. I will, <laughs> I will look. It's just Stop it now. No, just... You're such a uh, perfectionist. Oh man, that smells yeah, so go good. I really, 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 really like it. Really, really like it. I can't remember which one's it's like this. It's dainty and it's raisiny and it smells delicious. Okay. What were the mountains again? Jingmai, Jinggu, Jingmai, and Jinggu, Perkai. Jingmai, Jinggu, yeah. I would be very surprised if that was a Jingmai. Mm -hmm. I would say it's it's in that. It, I'm edging towards Jinggu just simply because of that. You know, that's where the um, Moonlight White comes from. And oh. it's got that sort of sweet, malty little thing going on. That's so true. It does have a malty note, huh? Okay. I know I said I'd enter Next this competition, one. but I'm basically just. Just Along for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help you, Don. <laughs> no stress, man. No stress. Oh, that smells very different. Oh, that smells <laughs> very... Oh, that smells like... um. Fireworks and cooked cream. Fireworks and cooked cream. Yeah. That sounds mad. Like, you know that sulfury smell yeah. in the air when you go out after fireworks? Yeah. Just yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sort of cooked oh, cream. Oh, cooked yeah. cream. Like, I can smell that. Bullshit. See, for me, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I oh, promise I didn't see it. Um, for me, that's Ooh. that's got Perkai written all over it. I have to say, it smells very creamy. That's creamy creamsters. Okay, yeah. last one. Okay. Be careful, just slide it to me. Boom. Yeah. Okay, how are we doing here? <sighs> Incense. Fresh. Fresh sneakers. Ooh. Oh, I, mean, I don't need to do that. Fresh sneakers. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of like blown. Like fresh sneakers, amazing. Fresh, fresh sneakers. I love it. So fresh sneakers. <laughs> Martin, I did not see that sticker. I promise. I saw that it was tilting up. Ooh, aversion. Aversion. This has serious fresh sneaker smell. Rubber. Fresh sneaker smell, and as if like sneaker smell, and, and there's like yeah, the, the the rubber sole of fresh sneaker, and I would say um, definite more jasmine note. Oh mm. my gosh, yes, fresh sneaker. fresh sneaker, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, nuts. I really like that taste. I love I love them all. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Yes, brewing time. So from. I shouldn't second guess. No, I'm not going to second guess. Nah, don't second guess. Just taste it. You know, have an idea. The, this one here, the, the leaves look weird. They wow. look like a different picking. Okay, you're going to pour it. When yeah. you pour it, stickers show. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a bad Just moderator. Just pour, pour, pour like away. Okay. You know, pour the, away. Pour away. What, what song is that? Okay. It's uh, Lucy's song. What time is it? It's twenty past ten. My God, how did we? How did this happen again? What time again? is this supposed to finish? Half past is no. Long I'm having fun. Hey. Yeah, but like <laughs> yeah. these people have lives. <laughs> Three.
301 still people watching, clearly oh, not. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys did. Uh, Ruben says, I want to be May Leaf taste tester forever. <laughs> Christian calls Martin Hughes a beautiful man. I have actually met Martin and he is indeed a beautiful man. He is a beautiful Femcare, man. Femcare, Martin I'm Hughes. Not. What's Martin? Mar I bet Martin's stirring stuff up, right? Why, what's why? He, he's a stirrer. He's a beautiful man, but he's a stirrer. <laughs> a beautiful man, but a stirrer. Yeah, Rough Blades says trainers. I, I intentionally went Americanized, didn't I? I sneakers. said sneakers. Yeah. Okay, so. Sorry, I started like. Let's do <laughs> this. All right, number one. Number one. AKA Jingu. I like that. You decided. Answer. Tea is my life. Okay. I'm deciding as I drink. Interesting. Mmm, nice. Very nice. I have to say, I I can't remember which one is which, but like I would say probably the Jingu because it's so it's different. It's quite different. It's kind of malty. It's got malty, isn't it? Yeah. It kind of reminds you of Moonlight White. It's it? true. It's actually very similar to Moonlight White. It's very okay. nice. Can I taste the middle one? I just want to taste Minerality, the Minerality. There's like succession. sweetness. Oh, maybe empty that one. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> brown, brown bread ice cream. It's, it has to be Kokai. <laughs> now I've gone from being totally not confident See, that I can I prefer everything. this one to the first one. I like that brown bread. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice little fruity note at the end. A little really? bit of Asian pear on the end. Mmm. That's mm. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Mm. Very, yeah, quite mm. creamy. That is super nice. That's just caressed my head for a little second. <laughs> it's caressing. I like that. Oh, but, and the mouth feel on that is... A... It really reminds me of Nozzle Diver, I have to say. There's something... Are we just like... Convincing yourselves. Why are you getting involved anyway? <laughs> Listen, I can't remember. I moved them around, and therefore I feel like I have a right to join in. <laughs> Smoky. Is that wrong? Smoky one. Ooh. All right, I'll switch then. Songtay, 6.19am. You are hardcore, and we love you for I it. I love it. You are hardcore. <laughs> On the verge of passing out. No. No. If you do, it's okay. You know, no stress. Okay, so this has a much more smoky taste. You can taste mm. the fire, you can taste the shaching. Mm. They've cooked it a bit hard for me. It's like a bit Saxon. Saxon. You know? Saxon. Yeah. You know? You can imagine them wearing <laughs> yeah. kind of bit... cloaks and smoky yeah, with big smoking rags. It was like oh, yeah, smoking it like that. Oh, yeah, true. Very Saxon. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Are you less into this one? I'm less into it. Are you less into it? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, Which I'm one's your favorite so far? Middle. 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 Yeah. Middle. I middle. quite like this one as well, but the middle one's definitely cozy. I mean, it's nice, and it does have a jasmine floral note towards the end. Mm. I am going to say... Jingu, Hokai, Jingmai. What do you think, Lou? Oh, like... <laughs> Say if like And I could be completely um, wrong, but um okay this one we're gonna have a similar one to this at the shop, but that that's like um I don't know how to explain this to be honest. What what Don said. Jingu <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is good. This is a this is nice, but it tastes a bit I'd like to try this one again. Yeah, go for it, it tastes a little bit unrefined. Mm. Cheap. It tastes a little bit like they didn't quite treat it with the same kind of processing that you imagine. Ah. I didn't see. I didn't see. Oh my god! I'm no, I feel I feel bad because I I should be like keeping an eye on these things. No, no, it's fine. I'm not. But it's sweet and I like it. I think all of these teas are really good. Yeah, I think they are very good. Actually, very good pours for sure. Ooh, nice God. sweetness, not bitter, just like quite smooth. That has got a definite tomato vine tang. Tomato in the first one? Yeah. Yeah. What? Isn't it? Yeah. Tomato vine tang, which I normally associate with black teas. So I'm going with that produce an area which Ooh. tends to produce a lot of black teas or white teas. I'm thinking that that's not Shishwan Bane area. Mm. I think that's further north. I think that's Jingu. I, let me show this one. Something kind of reminds me of like apple cider. This is just... Which one? The first one. This one, yeah. This 
is amazing. That yeah. second one, I love that this one. one yeah. All right, so I'm calling it. Are you mm. are you gonna stick with me or are you gonna diverge? Uh, I don't know. Like... Diverge just for the hell of it. You don't have to. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like give guessing, me some then. give me some characteristics of these mountains again. Mm. Similar to what you've tasted. <laughs> Jing Mai is generally more upper fragrance and floral. Yeah. Herkai is more creamy. Um, Jingu, I have very little experience in, but I know that it produces a lot so, of maltiness. Maltiness? Yeah. So that's like the floral, the high one. So you think that's Jing Mai? Yeah, I feel like this is the creamy one. So you think that's her kind? And that's the last so you one. You think that's Jingu? Yeah. So you are kind of the same as me, but you've switched these two. Mm. Yeah. Yeah? All right, so let's see if her Kai's right, because that's. I can't I'm actually quite what nervous about is. this. Okay. <laughs> it's. it's Okay, I'll show you guys at the same time. What color is it? It's oh blue. no, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. Okay. Uh, oh no! Oh, so this is the Jingu. So that's Jingu. That's quite creamy. So I'm that is Jingu. That is shocking. So that means that I've probably got them all wrong then. How about this one? That one is Herkai. Okay. Ah, Her interesting. Kai. And so that's Jing Mai. That's Jing Mai. Okay, yeah. so Jing Mai I got right, and these okay. two were incorrect yeah oh. but you know them. that surprises that's me because that tastes super herkai yes. to me super herkai super herkai yeah. so which is this is the herkai so this yeah. is the herkai very very surprising so there you go Jingu. one oh. out of three well it was either one out of three you can't get can you is it possible to get two out of three no it's either one out of three yeah. or three out of three isn't that's it that's true yeah because if you get one wrong oh, yeah. the other one's gonna be wrong so <laughs> you either get it all wrong Halfway <laughs> or all correct? Yeah. And I got halfway. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's alright. And you got Zero. all wrong. Zero. Well, there you go. At yeah. least I beat you. Oh! <laughs> oh I mean, you I'm rude. enjoying. I'm that enjoying. It. <laughs> so there you go. Proof that I did not. Oh, that's so mean. Cheat. Look at what? that. What? <laughs> One out of three. One out of three is that close to three out of three. Because exactly. if. if you can't get two out of three. I'm writing that, right? Yeah. You can't get two out of three. No. You can only get one out of three or yeah. three out of three. What can you do? Anyway, I'm actually very surprised by that, but I'm actually really it's pleasantly nice surprised that yeah. the Jingu, the Jingu is actually a really, very really creamy. nice creamy tea. I'm very Jingu. surprised. There you go. Okay, so we're going to do giveaways of all of these three. Um, oh. So you guys can taste I, the... And these Gushu. They're meant to be gushu. They don't have Ooh. ages on them though. Okay, Thank so you, the Cam says he knew three out of three. Sure thing. <laughs> sure thing. Just from looking at it. From okay, so um, we're going to do giveaways of the gushu. Type in gushu. Why not? It's been a while. I need my little just, No, no, no. Make it just okay. goosh. 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 G -u goosh. Gush then. Gush. Oh. <laughs> the G O O S H. No, you just do. <laughs> Listen, I'm I am very tea drunk right now. I don't think you understand. Like, the my level. brain feels like it's about to like tip over. You know, <laughs> like it's, it's like I'm on the cusp. And I'm just gonna over. fill up more. Yeah, just keep going. I'm Ooh. I'm really happy with these teas. I've got sweaty palms. Yeah. They're very good. So Goosh is in, and we are gonna. Well, can you do that? I'm I'm really bad at that. There you go. Oh yeah, my That's best one so one. far. We've got Jeremy. I know you like a bit of goosh, Jeremy. Belinda, Warui, <laughs> Tanuki, Andre, Silvio, Sontu, Timeless. One, two, three, four, five. And Magic Monk, Taoist. Go for it, Luce. Luce, roll that dice. Five. We've got Timeless. Oh. Should we do one more? Yeah. I'll go on then. Do we have enough? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> we might. I, otherwise, you'll get some other gooshu. Okay. Yeah? Right. Sneaker okay. juice goosh, let's go. <laughs> What's I going? can't spin it. Oh, come on. I really can't do You've that. You've got to commit. You've got to commit to it. Okay. Uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. No, go on, commit. Oh, kind of. Kind, kind of. of. We'll accept it. We I'll accept it. it. Pierre, Jérôme, Begeron, uh, Petra Anderson, Raphael Sandoval. Stella Johans, mm -hmm. Johannes, uh, Matthew, and Tobias Wickland. <laughs> Double winner possibility. Go for it. Okay. To make it special. Number one. one Pierre yeah. Jerome 
Bergeron. Jérôme. Bergeron. 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 Well done, you winners well out done. there. Well done, well um, done. Last few questions and answers. They are great teas, actually. Q and A's. And we can keep drinking this. It's already half past <coughs> 10. We've still got 287 people watching us. We will Booyah. quickly take a little peek on Mayleaf uh, Sessions hashtag in a bit. But first of all, a few final questions. Oh um, what's the best way to Ooh. brew loose, loose leaf tea sensibly while at work? I like those connoisseur brewers. Yeah. Very, very simple. Click, very click, simple. click. You can just brew and just go. For me, they are the best way to do desktop gong fu style. Connoisseur tea brewer, check it out. Um, is poor cake a must for a tea collection? Asked banana, nana, nana, nana. Um, <laughs> do you think a poor cake is a must for a tea collection? Yeah, and if you don't buy the whole thing, just get like some testers. Mm. But you, sh you need Start to have some of that stash in your stash because it's good. It's good S. You yeah, know. true. It's good. <laughs> it's good. If you like a poor, you know what I'm saying. I don't mean, like we say it's duck shit all the time. I find it's good shit. It's good shit. It's good shit. It's good shit. Look, you know, I, I, <laughs> if you love tea, I think it's inevitable that at some point you will fall in love with mm. raw poor. Yeah. So you know, save it up. Yeah. Or you know, hit flirt, it immediately. Flirt or flirt with some testers. Have a little flirt. Yeah. Yeah. I think Collector Anna says, what's the best tea for Chinese New Year? It's a good question, actually. Um, what is the best tea for Chinese New Year? I don't know if there is a traditional tea for Chinese New Year. I guess it would be a poor, no? I'm going to go with, go with Hongcha, just because it's a red oh. tea. Red, always mm, red, you know. That's what I was saying. Let's go, with, um, let's go with what's the reddest of all red Chinese teas. What is that, long, no, what is that one? A superior Kima? Yeah. Uh... Or Yunnan Black, um, mm, too Golden, golden God. Too uh, Golden. Wow, well, like, yeah, then. Or Tongmu, Little Tongmu. Yeah. Oh, little Tongmu. Let's go with, let's go with Lapsang Souchong, yeah. unsmoked, because it's the most traditional of all teas, the Lapsang Souchong, and the unsmoked is a modern version of it, so you're getting that representing China's ancient world and modern yeah. China. Can I just say, I really yeah. love, like, the yeah, earth pig. Just those two words together, earth pig. You said it was like an earth pig this year. Pig, right? earth pig. Earth pig. Earth pig. Yeah. yeah. I just think it's so cute. Earth pig. Earth pig. It's cute. It is cute. Is this guy an earth pig? I'm not sure. Mm, it's a <clears> sea <throat> pig. Yeah, it's um, more of a water pig. In the last sometimes. session, yeah. you mentioned that you liked the eight immortals. This is from the Pure Leaf. That you like the eight immortals dance song. Is it coming in stock? Yes, it is. We did buy that Eight Immortals. If you saw from our last session, it is on its way. We will be having the Eight Immortals dance song coming into stock at some point. It's still on its way. Um, <laughs> Banana Nana also asked, how much tea stock is too much? <laughs> and, uh, ask Ruben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, tea when you run out of space, years. I guess. Yeah. Um, let's see, uh, you still didn't answer where Dank is. You Dank know, we've is got, well, Dank is not here. Dank we is have... gone for a walk. I mean, what's wrong with Peanut? Peanut, peanut not peanut. enough. Dank, Dank is, Dank is... <laughs> He's resting. He's Dank, Dank had a heavy night. <laughs> we, we spoke to him. He said, no, mate, no. He's not, not ready for that one. I, we had words. I'm accepting it, but not happy with Dank at the moment. No, yeah? no. Alex says, did customs ruin your, ruin your shoe? We don't know yet. We're waiting to find out if we can get it back. Yeah. I hope that we can. Uh, Nephilim Research. Sorry I ask here, but are there more Gong Fu tea sets in stock? They are online, as far as I'm aware. They are there, unless they've sold out. Yeah. They are there online for you to grab them. They are B-stock, which means they've got some minor marks on them, but nothing, no biggie. And, um, and they are available in stock. Um... How do you guys not have to shit after drinking so much tea? <laughs> says Christina. Well, it depends. Actually, <laughs> sometimes it happens, and sometimes which tea it has the most laxative effect? Oh, on you? I, I think like a like a dark oolongs. What's oh, really? that one? Midnight Sun. What? <laughs> really? Really? I kind yeah. of more like cooked food. This, this is going down the wrong. This is going down the wrong. I don't like. No, I don't like this anymore. Yeah, this question like is this. wrong. I don't like it. I'm not playing. <laughs> Will teas from UK increase in price with new regulations? We have no idea what's going to happen with the wonderful thing that is Brexit, um, <laughs> but we shall see. 
I doubt it. I honestly do. I think that eventually you knock enough silly heads together, you'll get something. Marianne Fleur, yeah. hashtag free the tea. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Song Tay says they're wearing diapers. Oh, <laughs> this well, is how really, uncouth. why did it go down this road? <laughs> Who asked it. that question? That is very uncouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Does duck shit make you shit? Oh no, why, why, why did I choose that one question? <laughs> Raw poo <laughs> always sure. makes me go, You're attracted to those kind of questions. Poo talks. Okay. Uh, Dennis, yes, the Gong Fu story is going to come back into stock. Um, okay, let's quickly have a little peek at the... Refresh. At the Refresh uh, month. May Maybe Leaf sessions. session. Oh, more. Awesome. And let's see what people are saying here. We've got a couple more. Oh, a few more. Ooh. Photo Girl says, tea drunk. It looks like she's drinking. Oh. Is that chamomile or chrysanthemum up there with a chamomile. bit of. It's like a mix. Isn't is it? that silver neat? What is that tea? It that looks, looks like, like a. It looks like a, a sort of a yabao, actually. Oh, yeah. It looks like good, a yabao. And that yeah, looks like an oolong, sort of an ambery oolong. Yeah. Nice looking session. I will heart to that right now. And maybe some kind of black tea on the other side. Ah, nice one, 985. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a like right? there. Uh, we've but seen that one. Go, go down to that one. Mind, <laughs> mind you play says oh, full. Nice. Wow, yeah. there's a pale tea and a dark tea there. Ooh. What tea is that? It looks like a dark oolong, like a rock oolong there. Ooh, rocksicles. We've got, ooh, nice That's tea. Oh, I tray. like that. Oh, pretty. Bai Mu Dan Fun from High Level Lit. Oh, I like that tea tray too. Nice. Thank you for all these pictures. Looking cool, man. It's nice to see. Oh. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Jack. No, that's Anonymous doing Anonymous things. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Oh, Anonymous. 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 Yeah. Here we go. Team Melier has Ooh. said, I had some gyokuru that I really dislike from oh. a famous Uji tea maker, so I made a roasting taste test. So, oh, what nice. did you do? Roast your gyokuru? Oh, I like it. It's a good thing to do. If you don't like a tea, experiment True. with it, stick it in the oven. How, how did it go? Sick of tea, that's it's like being sick of breathing. breathing. Nice, <laughs> nice match, LM. That one, I think, is going to be the one that ends it off. Let's quickly check. Is there more? There's a goldfish. Oh, goldfish. Let's do the goldfish. Ooh, <laughs> I like that Oh, one. okay. Oh, the goldfish okay. is shocked at how tea pissed you are. Yeah. And we've got an actual vintage actual leaf. Ooh, leaf. an vintage old leaf. vintage Ooh. leaf. Ooh. I really love. <laughs> <laughs> That was a weird sound you made. Love, 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 that was a very weird sound you made. Thank you to every one of you that Thank posted you the um, that was fun. Instagram hashtag Mayleaf Sessions. Keep them coming. We will keep checking them out after we say ta ta to ta you out there. This one went so quickly. I don't know about you, but this felt like yeah. it, it's insane. This felt like we were on the Jade Star. Ship. Roller coaster. In a little yeah. boat. Yeah. Little I like it on the little boat right there. Yeah. So, ooh. Yeah, it's that one. That Jingu. I think that's my favorite right Jingu's now. Jingu's doing it, isn't it? Yeah, Jingu's doing it. Jingu is definitely doing it. All right, mm. so should we do a bit of Bumbler? Claire's asking for a bit of Bumbler. I feel like I need a bit Bumbler. of Bumbler. Definitely. Okay. How are now, doing while we do the Bumbler, have just, you done bumbler? I've not done the bumbler. I don't know what you're talking about. Just okay. you need to I know do. it's a thing, but okay. I know what the thing is. No. Bumbler is play. when every when we do the weird thing where we're quiet and silent while 280 people watch us being very quiet and silent. <laughs> it's right? like a, a meditation. But it's about zen observing thing. every observation <laughs> and just okay. anything that comes in, just observe it. Don't judge it. Yeah. And just be. Okay. And we'll so, do this until observe, Celine says no. What do you mean? No. Until Celine breaks it, because I never know who to. I never know that if I'm going wow. to break it. Okay. All right. So bumbler away. I I'm going to bumble. I slow You can. You can. You can do it with the pig. I bumble okay. with the pig. I'm going to stare at pig's ass. Okay. <laughs> That's too fun. And done. Okay, empty your mind. All right. So, good bumbler. Do more extended bumblers if you can. That was very short, and staring at pig's ass was not quite. What... Yeah, I was thinking, how long can you stare at pig's ass? But you know, you did it for a while, no, so that's okay. good. How about okay, everybody, it is time for us to say farewell. 
I know that yeah. sounds, it's, it's, it really feels like it's insanely quick. I feel like we didn't really get through much at all. Mm -hmm. uh, people are still asking questions. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, should we just keep going? Yeah. Should we break out more teas? <laughs> you or know, it's you like have... that scene in Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. Oh, just no. stay. Someone's <laughs> post didn't get seen. My post oh. is so old, so you didn't even see it anymore. Feels oh. bad. Oh. oh, no. Where is it? I will. Uh, I don't know where it is. We can. We can. We can. We can. Yeah. 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 Sorry. 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 Sorry to the sexy support group, but um, there are a lot of posts on here now. Yeah. Um. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay but I'm still this weird goth man. <laughs> yeah. Like, whenever I see, I'm like, weird what one. is that? The weird <laughs> goth man. What is that Gothic, weird Gothic, goth, goth man? Who did that, How does that by make you feel when you look at oh, <laughs> Don May Love did it. Oh, Don May Love. Oh, you, guys are, Don. you guys are sweet. There you go. Necklace and everything. Don is a teenager. So, our next session will be in two months' time. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, but we might be in China at that time. Because that would be April. That would be tea picking season. We'll Ooh. keep you informed. I'll keep you informed. It might be, it might be um, the first uh, Saturday of April. Thank you, Nephilim Research. Thank you. Silent Heart. Love it. Thank you. Um, so, oh, sexy support group. Stop giving me the sad face. No. I can't find your post. I don't know. Describe it to me. <laughs> yeah. Tell her what it looks like. <laughs> but, sexy um, support group. see, this is what people make me do. Right? No. <laughs> I'm typing sexy. That's not probably. <laughs> Google's been like, okay. Sexy see what you're support looking group. For. One post. No, that doesn't work. No, can't find it. We will, we will find it afterwards. I promise. So if we can't do April, then we will reschedule for another time. Um, and we'll try and give you as much notice as we possibly can. So to each and every one of you, we charge our glasses with... Jingu. Nice Jingu. Pingu jingu. Pingu No matter what time it is over there, I'm sure you've got to, you know, decaffeinate. So enjoy the sort of afterburn. Yeah. Relax. Check out Instagram. See what people are doing. Make sure you hashtag uh, Main Eve Sessions so that we can follow along. And um, what can we say? It goes Happy too fast, Bumbler people. Happy Bumbler time. Happy Bumbler time. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah, thank you for joining us. This was Ooh. fun as always. <laughs> and um, you, you've got to be careful because they're going to expect you at every single session. No, I, I, I'm cool with it. You're cool with it. I'm cool with she it. She said it. I'm She's cool, cool with it. it. You're cool but with it. But it's like, I just don't want you guys to get sick of me, you know? Like, I just wanted to I would like, like a... to reach the point where I don't have to be here. <laughs> oh, stop it now. I would just leave now. you two and I could sit back, chillax and just taste some tea by myself. Can you imagine us oh. together alone? No, We'd be like, oh. Want, you want to... You don't want to drink tea with us, and like you know. With, That's true. You know, I know you know I'd get involved. Like, you know I'd get involved. Like I yeah. just want to. I'm just gonna step in here and. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, it's like you're wrong. You're, wrong. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely you. wrong. Yeah, you're right. I couldn't resist. How could I resist hanging out with you people? No. Love and light from Love London, from light. chilly London town to yeah. wherever you are. Love and light. And Love and light. A cup overflowing with the good stuff. Overflowing. Take care, people. Good stuff. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Bye. Good night. Bye.